Wing. Ha Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy Birthday. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Controller Tape. We're playing more of this trash. Um, yeah. I like how games... I like how our games always devolve from... Welcome to this. This should be a lot of fun to I want to die. <laughs> I mean, I'm still having fun in my playthrough. I just don't think I'm going to win. <laughs> Year of the Dragon. So, all right. So I think I know what I need to do this round. Um, I need to turn on the fan. Turn on this fan. Turn off that fan. Hold on. <laughs> we should... Sorry, I woke up at like 9, 10. Hopefully there's still battery in there. Anyway, um, I know what I need to do. Um, kind of. Vaguely. Vaguely. Because I remember there's a whole area of the game that I forgot about. There's the dragon Irie. And the dragon shrine. Right. That I completely forgot about. And didn't go to. You I'm need to go up. see the dragons, Frodo. Uh, one level. Tell me if you can hear that. Nope. It was at level one. I'm turning it up to level two. <laughs> That's what we should have done. We should have named ourselves Frodo and Sam. <laughs> Frodo. Kill Frodo. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> I have that as a GIF now. <laughs> so on a GIF of uh, explosions, Mr. Explosions and Fire. Tom Explosions and Fire. Doing... Greetings, fellow nerds. <laughs> With his expanding face. <laughs> or, uh... <laughs> oh, well, surely in Utron stars. <laughs> if you're not watching uh, Explosions and Fire slash Extractions and Higher, and you like sciencey stuff, you, s you should. He's a lot of fun. He's, I like him because he's like the polar opposite of Now Red. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I, just, which is probably best exemplified in the one time when he, uh, called, uh, <laughs> he called Nile Red on his channel to talk with him, and at one point he's got, like, he pull, he's got, pulls out, he's got, like, a chainsaw, and he's like, <laughs> Um, it was because, <laughs> it, it was because he had, he bought a pair of, like, uh, headphones, for like chatting, except then they show on the box that the dude is using the headphones like ear protection, <laughs> like, it, like, yeah, with, show, like with like lawn care equipment. Like or he's something. got a hedge trimmer, and he, it, but and so he's like trimming a hedge with this loud as fuck hedge trimmer, but he's also looks like he's just carrying on a conversation. He's <laughs> like, no one on the other end of that can hear him. Um, so. Anyway, so I completely forgot about the dragon Irie in a dragon shrine. So I need to go do that. Um, because if I recall correctly, that is where I will get the vlubby do that lets me <laughs> go into, like, the memories. That's and, where you get the MacGuffin. Yeah, and the memories are where I get... I have to go defeat... I have to go kill the giant lord in one of the memories, and I have to go to, um, I have to go to Schmendrick's memory and get whatever the thing from him. And, in fact, I think I have to do that, f f f no, I don't remember if I have to do that first or second, but I'll go do that first, just in case, and then I'll go do giant lord, and once I have giant lord, um... Then things, magical things happen. And in terms of beating 
uh, chaos bed. Um, I'm sorry, I just snoofed my, um, my not be congested medicine and it hasn't dried out yet, so I'm still a little snorky. Um, professionalism. We have it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So I have to do those things. So, but we can't get started on that just yet because it would be unfair. Um, we have to, we have to talk about things first. I wish we could just fucking play Dark Souls games together. Uh, yeah. Dark, Dark Souls 1. I mean, we can play. Apparently has a jolly cooperation mod. Yeah, but Dark Souls 1 looks like Dark Souls 1. And is crap, Even yeah. when it's remastered. Yeah. And, like, nobody has done a miraculous thing like they did with Dark Souls 2, which I think speaks to the, uh... I think Dark Souls 2 is probably the, uh... I think this is, like, the Souls game, honestly. People seem to really love this Dark Souls. Yeah, like, everyone shits on it for its weird quirks. I shit on it for its weird quirks. But, like... I, I still prefer the setting of this game. I like the, you know, I like the world design. I like the NPCs, you know. It's sillier. <laughs> a little bit sillier, a little le less dour. Yeah. It's got the nice kicky lady at the fire. It's got pretty locations. And then they threw it all out the window for Dark Souls 3 because they decided that everything needed to be covered in ash. And misery. <laughs> um, so, uh, there should, there should be new, uh, there should be new Elden Ring DLC soon. You planning Fingers on- Fingers crossed. You planning on playing that? Probably. Um... Cause it's not like it's not like Skyrim where you know every new update ruins everything in my mods. It's like I barely have enough mods as it is for El like. Okay, so I uninstalled Carrion because mm -hmm. I was like it was fun, but it's nowhere near complete. Like we need more weapons because mm -hmm. I feel like you know there's unexplored content there, and I don't want to just keep using the same weapons over and over and over again. Right. Um. So I uninstalled that. I tried the quote unquote easier parry via time blocks mod, but it was just as difficult as just regular parrying because the timing <clears throat> window was like four frames. <laughs> it was like bullshit. So what I did was I installed I uninstalled that and I installed a new mod that made it so that uh, uh, instead of rolling, you do dashing. You, if you're at medium load, you do, like, the Bloodborne dash, and if you're at light load, you do the Sekiro dash, mm. which has been a lot better. Um, and then the other mod I tried to install was, that I'm probably going to uninstall, was I installed a mod that, like, it said it removed the limitations of the character creation sliders. <laughs> Which I was like, that's cool, because now I can make, like, you know, I can go a little further and make more, a little wet, slightly wackier things, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, it turns out, that's not what that does, and while that mod is installed, I cannot play any of my other characters. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because what it did was, it just redefined what the slider settings mean. Oh, dear. So, like, instead of taking, like, uh, like, oh, you're, it's from 0 to 128, now it's from, like, negative 500 to positive 500, or mm. something like that. You know, where it's like, okay, so it just expands it, and you can go a little further. It just redefines what 0 to 128 to 256 means. <laughs> so, you know, when I loaded, I was, and I loaded up the game, and I went to the load screen to be like, uh, now this shouldn't have affected my characters. Mm -hmm. And I look, and what I see is a, where there once were a whole bunch of pretty characters and nice looking ladies and gentlemen. 
I was now staring at a slideshow of fucking <laughs> deformed freaks. <laughs> yeah. Although, interestingly enough, you know what that does affect mm. that I wasn't expecting? Body hair. The body hair slider? Turns out what it does is it doesn't just hide and unhide like a texture or even a model just be like, oh, it's like... I Late guess levels of body hair. Well, I guess it what it's doing shader. is it's taking a model <clears throat> and like pulling it more out of you. You. <laughs> so like it, with this mod, if you crank the body hair slider all the way up, you look like fucking David <laughs> Hasselhoff combined <laughs> with Austin Powers and a shag carpet. <laughs> like your legs are just floof. So uh, I found. I've been uh, poking at doing speedrunning because I've been talking. Chat convinced me that I should probably tr give speedrunning Super Metroid a go because I know the game so freaking well. Um, and I could honest, I could probably put. Oh my god, this is disgusting. <laughs> this controller speedruns, right? This controller is gross. I'd take it apart and clean it, but it's an Xbox controller, so that's impossible. Um, anyway. So. So, yeah, so I was like, okay, I'll do that. But one, I decided that uh, I've been watching the speedrunner uh, uh, Tomato Anus, who, if you watch the most recent uh, at, uh, GDQ event, you might know as Tomato Angus. Because I don't know if they made him change his name or if he did it himself because he felt like he should. But it's just one of the reasons why I've kind of, like, I like ESA a lot better. Because, like, come on, GDQ, really? Like, anus isn't even a bad word. It's a scientific term. Yeah. You know? But, you know, hey... Make him change his name to Tomato Angus and then play Grand Theft Auto... Like, that's not a stupid <laughs> dichotomy, you know? And hey, why, you know, why are you doing, well, you know, what, you know, why are we doing this? Well, we have to, we have to uh, kowtow to the more conservative side of the internet who might be offended by the word anus. You know, that group of people that we also kind of hate because, you know, we're, there's, anyway. So... That was that was a sudden unintended rant. Um, so, and, but so I've been watching Tomato Anus, and one of the things that he's done a couple of times is he's done like this is a Fallout Four speed run, like w with some stupid like category where you know like get pregnant percent. Mm. Um, the joke categories, right? But that then kind of taking off. <laughs> but then like he'll go. So you have to do get pregnant. It's like you have to get pregnant, but there's also this list of other shit that you have to do that includes like going and recruiting all these people to be your followers. And yes, I can do that because I have these mods that let me do that. And also <laughs> he starts going to recruit these people and it's like a death claw in like a dapper suit and a tiny hat <laughs> and just <laughs> random modded in people. And the whole time what he's saying is like, this may seem arbitrary and stupid, that, but that's because... Uh, speedrunning is arbitrary and stupid and the rules just are there because because you have to have rules so you know and the you know and what he and what he gets across like at the end is like if you feel like there would be a fun thing to speedrun don't worry about whether or not there's a leaderboard or anything like that just run it for fun because yeah. that's the <laughs> point of speedrunning you know if you want to get on a leaderboard you have to follow the rules yeah but like you don't have to like the point of speedrunning doesn't have to be get on a leaderboard. It can just be do run, have fun, right? And I'm like, you know what? I'm down with that. So what I decided to do is I decided to do vary a percent, which is basically just Metroid. You know, like like if it's vary any percent, it's just any percent. If it's vary a hundred percent, it's just hundred percent. But you turn on, but you get the vary tweaks from the vary randomizer customizer. Uh, like the respin or momentum conservation stuff like that, and 
you get like emulator hacks that like, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, like um, slow down reduction. Um, because, you know, I've been playing with those for a while and I feel like the potential for really cool speed tech, like there's potential for really cool speed tech. Like imagine these super high level speed runners if they had momentum conservation with their shine sparks, <laughs> right? <laughs> or like just the climb, the one time I've done a really good climb out where you can respin, like you shoot the dude, respin and keep going, right? So like, you don't have to like stop, shoot, stop, stop, hop, hop, shoot, keep going. You can just be like hop, hop, shoot, hop, 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 <laughs> shoot, hop, hop, hop. Um, you know, so I was like, oh, that that seems like there there's room for like way cool speed tech. Plus, you know, not just like going faster along the given route, there might be totally new uh, routing options based on the fact that now you can conserve speed. So like you can get shine sparks a lot easier. Um, so, but so I was like, okay, so I'll start doing that. Well, I've run into a problem which is that the the PlayStation 4 controller, which is my preferred controller for retro games overall, um, like, f feel the D-pad on that. Like, try to do, like, for example, a stutter step. You know how to do a stutter step in Super Metroid? Where you, like, you have to tap a direction a few times, right? In, like, real fast. Like, we're talking, like, every couple of frames you're pressing right. Can you tell precisely when you've released the button and are ready to do another press? Not really. No, because it's a little mushy because it's using the rubber domes, right? Try it with that D-pad. Yeah. You feel the? Do you feel the difference? Yeah. So. What I just handed him is one of these, an Xbox One controller. The Xbox One controller, and I think the series, I think the ones that came after, like the Series S and whatnot, they use clicky switches instead of rubber domes on the D-pad. Um, and the reason that's good, uh, if you don't have one of these to, to feel the difference, you can feel what, on any controller that you have, you can feel what a clicky switch is versus a rubber dome, because um, like the Xbox, uses rubber domes for these buttons so you can feel what the difference is by clicking your joysticks because the joystick clicks use a clicky switch okay or you can click a mouse a mouse button because those are clicky switches too um they are uh they're mechanical versus like the rubber domes where it's like it's a dome like this with a capacitive surface and when you press it it collapses right and then there's a circuit here, so when it collapses, it completes the circuit. And But the rubber dome doesn't like to be collapsed like this, so when you release it, it pops back into shape, right? But that that mechanism where it goes squirsh and pops back up, um, is it's soft and a little mushy, and depending on the rubber that this is made of, it can be either really poppy, like the D-pads on the Buffalo controllers are really poppy because they use thick rubber. With thick. Which is why they cost like $40, because they're very well manufactured. Um, but even so, they're still kind of squishy and not very precise, whereas the clicky switches are like on off and require like sub millimeters of travel to turn on, right? So that would be ideal because I can, you, I get like instant feedback. I don't have to press very hard. So like stutter stepping is really easy. Um, <sighs> but like, as far as I know, this, the, the Xbox controllers are the only ones that use clicky switches for anything. Uh, it also uses clicky switches for the, like you can hear, you, like you can hear that in the microphone, right? That versus, <laughs> um, so I was like, ah, oh, I don't want to have to use this though, because the D-pad's way over here. It's not super comfy. Um, and the shoulder buttons are even worse. Um, but then I discovered that there's a company that makes mods for controllers that add, that replace some or all of the buttons with clicky switches. They're, uh, like for example, they have some that only replace the triggers 
with clicky switches, but everything else is the same. But they make one for uh, for all the controllers, DS4, DS5, Switch, Xbox, right? Um, that replace all of the buttons with clicky switches. And I'm like, that would be so weird. Cause like <laughs> the face buttons would be clicky switches too. <laughs> that would be so weird. Good, but weird. It replaces the analog switch tr uh, triggers with clicky switches. So like they're not analog anymore. You just press them and they go click, which yay. <laughs> What they now, what they ne need to do next for uh, retro games, for you know, because like I really like the Xbox controller, but the D pad's in a shitty position. But I'm not against using a joystick for 2D games. <laughs> but my head has never snapped so fast. <laughs> Woof. Well, I, I've played 2D games with joysticks before, and it's actually kind of comfortable. The main problem, of course, is that it's an analog joystick. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, you have to do, like, you have to travel super far, you know, to change directions, right? Especially on, like, a 2D platform where there's only l really left and right. So you're like, I need to turn right. Eh, 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 and there's no definites. But what if they made one where it was more like a, like a tiny arcade stick? Like a classic like Donkey Kong or whatever. So, like, there's very little travel between left and right, and it's kind of clicky. Hmm. So, and with, like, that uh, Nintendo 64 octagon kind of right. thing. So you could be like, click, 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 really fast. That would be interesting. Would be cool for fighting games. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeet. So I think <clears throat> what's gonna happen, and it's only like twenty bucks for that kit. And I have opened these controllers up before, so I'm not super, I'm not super nervous about doing that. Um, because like I've opened them up to clean them before. So I, so I think at some point I'm gonna go ahead and do that, order up one of those, and do the, do the conversion. Because even if I don't, even if I do end up just being like, eh, you know what, speed running, what the whoever, who cares? I still want that. Like for all the controllers, <laughs> like I'll mod this and to it, mod the Xbox, all clicky switches. All right. <laughs> Actually, I probably won't do the Xbox because I do want one with analog triggers for racing games. But although ideally I'll I'd get a racing wheel. I would really We've like a racing wheel. We've been live for 30 wheel. minutes. Yep, you need to get on to the road, boy. That well, seems too instant. Also, anyway. I went to... Uh, I, I went to try to play wait, Dark wait, wait, Souls wait, wait, wait. 2 with Wii Mod because I was like, you know, you know, we've been playing it fast, but like, I kind of wish I could also be playing it in like taking my time and exploring all the stuff. Mm -hmm. But I was disappointed by the. I was disappointed by the options in the Wii Mod. Because, you know, with Elden Ring Wii Mod, I get all sorts of crazy stuff. Like, you can. Adjust. I can, you know, change the multiplier well. for how many runes I get, my defense, my offense, you know, stuff like that. Please make me, me make me immune to status effects if I so desire, or right. infinite items. Whereas in this, like, the only options were the only options were. Infinite health, infinite ma infinite spells, infinite Yeah, it's stamina. not nearly as... But, to be fair, that that's partly because, uh, like, Elden Ring is still very current, and, uh... I'll provide... Any service I need? <laughs> Will you provide me, uh, America's tits? Visit me again. Um. Oh. No, I want to reinforce. Um. <clears throat> uh, oh, my armor is already plus five. That's right. Um. Let's see. No, it's not. It's plus four. No, my armor. Oh. Well, those are your armor. Wait a minute, like my body armor. These are boots. Right, which is armor. All right, so that's what. That's plus four. No. 
plus six, plus six. It says right there, plus two. No, I'm the difference between the stats. Oh. Uh, it looks identical. Um, so this, it's identical. That costs fewer Titanites. Okay. I need Titanite Chonk. <laughs> Hat. Boom! There. <laughs> uh, oh, I can reinforce my Blossom Kite Shield, which I haven't been doing for some reason. Because you don't really get much of, of a benefit from it, usually. I mean, it increases parry. It increases your defenses, like the parry defenses. Right. Over on the right, so... Not, not a huge heck of a lot. It's not like armor. But better than nothing. I'll be around. All right. That'll be good enough for now. You know, it's just one of the last things you upgrade, basically. Yeah. It's like, well, I've already got my best weapon, my best armor, so I guess I'll just start improving my shield. So, anyway, I'll do that when I have a little extra cash sitting around. Although, if you if you would like to speed up my if you if you would like to speed up my access to uh, speed run. To get that, you know, going sooner. Tom, 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 tom. Ah, damn. All right. Fuck these little rat gremlin bastards. Yeah. Ah, did you kill one of my rat gremlin bastards? I'll kill you. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh. <laughs> he gets up so fast. I like these guys' walk. Oh! I got greedy. <laughs> Don't let the greed take hold. Or the gravity. <laughs> also, for a long time, I thought that this was, uh... Poison. Poison. It is not. Hmm, right there, so. Um, I had, uh, I had dallied with the idea of remapping my controls to put, uh, run on the left trigger. So that I wouldn't have to claw to run. Whoop. 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 Okay. Oh. Produce the symbol of the king. There. Wait, the door what the hell immediately was that? shuts again. Uh, that was this ring. Oh, the ring of protection. Reduces damage taken from behind. I don't need that. I'm a champion at taking it from behind. <laughs> All right, I'll just keep. Oh, hold on. My controller's doing that thing. Every now and then, for some reason, the switch controller gets stuck on like a very, very gentle rumble. <laughs> Where it's just like, brrr. like there's a tiny pigeon inside your controller. Oh, it's the door closing. It's like, what the fuck is that? I'm not gonna lie though. If the Xbox One controller had clicky switches on the on the triggers, it would probably supplant the Switch as my favorite controller. Because, like, the only real reason why the Switch is my favorite controller right now is because of the clicky switches. Or is... Well, it doesn't have clicky switches. It's just it, the triggers aren't analog. They're buttons. Which I prefer. Oh. Hazlatil? Apparently. Azrael's Dark Souls Sona. Jesus, it's so <laughs> dark in here. Uh, oh, I got a human FG and it screwed up my menuing. Can you light these torches? No. Does it look like it's got, like, stuff in it to burn? Spooky dragon. Now I thought this I thought this dragon skeleton like lunged at you. 
Yeah, I had vivid memories of it coming to life, too. Like, going roar, and then it just, like, collapses. Is this a pre-collapsed dragon? <laughs> it is not like Crocomire. Did I hear a jingly ja did I hear a jingly lizard? I just noticed that these fucking ogres have like this weird what? ow ow like indent between their boobs and their belly where it looks like you could kind of fit like a little medallion just slide <laughs> it in there. Also it kind of looked like he was about Oh, it's cuz they're like I don't know. Kind of looked like he was about to just sort of step to one side, and then you murdered him. <laughs> Stepping. What did he drop? A dragon acolyte mask. Okay. Interesting. Why do I feel like there was a summon over here somewhere? <laughs> when the fans are rocking, don't come a knocking. What was that? Was a Seinfeld bit, wasn't it? <laughs> that van's a rocking. Don't go knocking. <laughs> oh, and it was George's parents. That's right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. There's a summon around here somewhere. Cause I remember fighting that dude. There, I had a summon. Where be? Where be the summon? Where be he be? Also, I like the house there's down here. There's fog? just like some kind of weird music track going on. Is there someone out here? Is there no summon? Because. Because I haven't finished a quest line or something? Oh! In dark, I learned something lore-wise about uh, Dark Souls One. Um, oh, this is the "Don't you dare" light. Pull back, pull back, <laughs> pull back. I'll no. be honest, that's kind of spooky, you know. Don't you dare! No, I dare. Fuck you! I do what I want. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't. You wouldn't dare to. Light the torch, but you dare to pull the lever? Also, hello, Ferret. Hey, Ferret, welcome. <laughs> it was the first of the Dark Souls games. Um. So. I hear Jingly Lizard. Hello? By the very gods. What have you done? You've really done it. Uh, oh, this guy. Okay, I've released him, and now he's going to, now he's going to like invade me a lot. He'll he'll sell me cool shit, but he's gonna invade the hell out of me later. <laughs> oh, so like he was imprisoned over here, and he was like, "Don't release me, or the evil within yeah. me will come and get you." But he has some pretty kick-ass sorcerer gear if you were a sorcerer. Oh, the black witch stuff. Yeah. Anyway, bye. Um. <laughs> But I don't remember if he only invades you when you're, if you're hollow. If you're hollow, he won't sell you dick. Where the fuck? Oh! Cobalt thinks he also murders your Majula peeps? He can't murder anyone with Majula. I mean, could I just kill him? He doesn't have anything I need. I mean, I'm just gonna kill him. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill him just in case. Maybe that'll help. Or maybe he tries to get you to murder them? <clears throat> I'm just gonna look it up. Alright, you look it up. Uh, I'm... I don't know where... Do not pull the lever in the room if you're planning on doing his quest line! I wasn't Says planning. the DS2 wiki in all caps. <laughs> I set light. Damn. Oop. 
Come here, you douche. This guy's got a lot of poise. But he's dead now. Uh, let's see. Talking while human reveals different dialogue, and you can buy stuff from him. If you visit Walhalla, you talk to an assassin that requests your help to kill other NPCs while he is trapped. Uh, well, I don't... Oh, wait. There it is! It's over here. Killing Navlon after releasing him prevents him from invading. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just go also, down Also, what is this fucking chest? Off-center garbage? <laughs> it's like, uh, in Fallout 4. <laughs> the next time you play Fallout 4, if you, if you ever do, uh, take note of the, of your front door at the, in the beginning of, like, you know, when the very beginning when the dude shows up to be like, oh, tell me about your stats and oh, shit. Oh, the overly long Bethesda intro? Yes. Uh, take note of your front door and how the window, the little window on your front door is just a little off center. <laughs> uh, again, that's a little detail from, uh, that's a little detail from our friend Tomato Anus. Who pointed that out and then I was watching like he has like a little heart rate monitor going on and when he walked up and looked at it like his heart rate accelerated he was getting stressed just by looking at the off-center <laughs> eh. 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 no, why did I do that Arg. Could be worse, could be worse. How do you know it could be worse? You aren't even dead yet. <laughs> well, I mean, You're he like, was. Oh, this could be worse. Oh, no, hell is real. <laughs> <laughs> this couldn't be worse at all. All right, so I've dealt with him. No invasions. Um, so, anyway, so Dark Souls 1. Uh, you know uh, Siegfried, yeah? Onion Knight? Yeah, and the he has, uh, poor he, deluded fool that right. everyone loves. And he has a daughter, yes. Right. Um, Sieglin? I Sieglin? Think. Uh, she's human. Oh, yeah. Like, she's not undead. She's just human, which is kind of badass, because, like, if she dies, she just dies. That's that's it. Yeah, that's that's the interesting thing I always thought about her, was that, that she wasn't... Oh, well, there's a some sign. Yeah. Is that she's not hollow. And she manages tra to traverse the entirety of Lordran. Like, perfectly fine. Like, no issues whatsoever. Ooh. Did you just get a fancy? I, okay, so do I want the Chloranthi ring? Or I got the Northern Ritual Band. Oh wait, is that the one I think it is? No, never mind. I was I thought it was I was thinking one of the there's a soldier's rings. First, it's like the dragon rings or whatever. First, second and third. And all of them they increase your hit points, uh F points and carry weight. And the like the Second one does more than the first one, but each of them is progressively more fragile. So they break easy. It's like there was a similar ring in Dark Souls 1. John says humans are worse than the Taint of... Well, that's the thing, is that they're not. They're not worse, they're just more fragile. The t the As in, they die and that's it, they're dead forever. Yeah. It, but those with the Hollow Curse can die over and over and over again. Also, hello, Rem. Hey, Rem, how you doing? Uh, no, I this wish is there dark. was a furry version. <laughs> Every game needs a furry mod. If there isn't a furry mod for a given game, somebody's slacking. Yeah, the best we have is Elden Ring wearing the wolf head. Yeah. Alright, come on, prick. I know you want to do the thing. Holy shit. 
He's not super scary. He's just... He's just a hit point sponge. Ow! I didn't know he could... I didn't know he could, like... Shake that thing? Do an, do an ass dance and... Bling! I just noticed his pupils are, like, super dilated. <laughs> also, uh... Or, well, quote-unquote pupils. His skin texture reminds me of, like, old dinosaur toys. Oh, yeah. I see it. Okay. <laughs> One game where you play as a duck and a pig? I don't know what you're talking about. That sounds like a Looney Tunes game. Oh, uh, speaking of speaking of games, uh, the company I mentioned this in our I mentioned this in our Discord, but the company that you probably best know for the company that you probably best know for Untitled Goose Game, and that I know best for their for their uh, Macintosh software development for their MacOS software development tools. I don't remember this at all. I think that's down to a pee room. Okay, I don't think I need to a pee room? Yeah, it's like a room filled with pee. Yeah. Well, that's no bueno. Rot your armor. I like how he's perfectly fine to stay in there until you piss him off. I think there's a secret wall around here where you can get a key or something and you need the ogre to like bust the wall down, but. I don't remember where it is, and I don't got time to look for it. Oh, you staggered him, and that reset his ability to attack. Um, so, anyway, so that company, Panic, uh, they are gearing up to release a new game called Arco. Um, and it looks, it looks pretty interesting. Uh, they have a playable demo right now that I'm going to grab. Uh... In the near future, I got a couple art pieces that I need to get done before I can justify spending, before I can say that I have free time. Um, but it looks pretty interesting. It's like turn-based strategy kind of stuff, pixel arty, skill trees looking stuff. It looks interesting. Whoa! <laughs> I've been smooched. I have been smooched. Now he have been smooched. Yeah, but he can take it. This is true. Up, oh, but uh, if there's one thing that I really liked about uh, Bloodborne, it was how many more things could get backstabbed. Yeah. Like in this game, in the Souls games, you can really only backstab like uh, humans um, or humanoids, whereas. Like in Bloodborne, like giant pig, stick fist in asshole. Everything could get parried and reposted. So sore right. putting down. Need some to game drink. Rate. Get uh, ready for my attack run. It's on Steam. For it. uh, Arco. A R C O. Look for look for. It sh if you punch in Arco, it should be right at the top of the search list. And it'll have, uh, one of them will be a playable demo. Okay. Um. Excuse me? Where did my bow go? If you don't mind. Oh, I never picked up a longbow. Hmm. Let me make sure I'm still in. Okay, I am still in, uh. Okay, I remember this fight. This fight sucks. Thank God for... These are my poison arrows, right? I don't know. I can't... L2, I think, is my poison arrows. Okay, uh, get away, get away, get away, get away. I can't tell if I'm getting even close to poisoning him or not. 
Where? No, go the other way. Go the other way. <laughs> oh, it just tanking it like a boss. Yep, good for him. Oh, it's all over. There's nothing I could do about that. <laughs> I mean, live. Why am I using these? I have Estus flasks. Uh, go away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Holy shit. My rolls were like using up no stamina. Alright, he's not. Oh, I'm an idiot. I was not, in fact, using my poison arrows. Oh, you're just shooting him with my iron arrows which do more damage but they also don't poison oh you piece of shit all right he's aiming over there this gives me his chance to he's poisoned is he yeah i just i don't want to get anywhere near this fucker oh my god I don't want to be here either. This feels like... okay. I can't pay attention to chat. You have to tell me what chat is doing. Oh, uh, they're talking about XCOM, so oh, I have... Oh, he's dead. Yay for poison! They're, they were talking about XCOM, so I kind of just... Glazed Zoned over. <laughs> ah, let's go. Also, how do you do emotes? Uh, the select button. Oh... I won't bite. Unless you want me to. <laughs> I'm cheating. What are you talking about? There's no cheating in speedrunning. Alright. Up. When you get in elevators in the Souls game, up is always better than down. When the, when the elevator goes down, you know you're in for a bad time. Down is only bad. <laughs> here's a, here's a um, Bethesda game. You could really do it in any uh, Skyrim-style Bethesda game. Uh, over encumbered percent. No. <laughs> Beat the whole game while over encumbered. <laughs> <laughs> Get the hence to bonfire. Okay. The dragon area. And now to one of the worst areas in the game. Where is it? Hello, lady. Hello, nice lady. Do not resist. Yay. All right, I go. <laughs> I just Do got the resist. feather. <laughs> I got the feather, which is one of the best items in any Souls game, period. Barn far. Travel to Majul. <laughs> Skyrim Helga Fort or whatever it's called to Whiterun the entirety of FF7. Oh, you know what? Before I go here though, travel. Where is it? On Store Cops. Oh. Thought you were going to Doors of Pharos. Nope. I mean, maybe, but. You, sir. Oh, wait, no. No, no, never mind. Never mind. That was dumb. That was dumb. Where do I get... He sells the dark stuff. Where do I get the lightning stuff? Because I need lightning stuff. Um... The... Saint Lady? The Saint Lady sells lightning powders? Oh, lightning powder? Yeah. I don't know I who need. sells... I don't know who sells the powders. Because that dude sells the dark powders, which is what I was going for. But then I remembered they're not weak to dark powers. I, I need lightning for the chaos battle. Dark Souls 2. Uh, it's the pine resin. Oh, dear. If Cobalt's right, uh, you can't get it unless you go fight another boss. 
Oh. It's the Blue Sentinels guy? Oh, gee, That's easy. That's easy! <laughs> I can, he's a, he's a fucking pushover. Yeah, he's not in his prime anymore. Like, especially, like, you go grab a summon and he's no sweat. What? No, he does the second one. Let me throw, let me throw, I wanna, I wanna kill her, I wanna kill her. Ah. Fucking psychopath. No, why did you do that? <laughs> she wanted to be fancy. <laughs> Cause that was a, that was a fun little twirl she did. Like she thinks she's fucking Obi-Wan <laughs> over here. <laughs> voo -voo -voo -voo. She's making a voo voo sounds with her mouth. Good old voo voos. A voo voo Zayla, if you will. Uh my dude. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Yep. 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 And... Come on, get on over here. Or, you know, we could just do it this way. This is fine, too. <laughs> he breathes like fucking Darth Vader. He doesn't oh. have he doesn't have the vitality for that armor, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, Jesus okay, Christ, good. he died super hard and fast. Suddenly I feel really good. <laughs> My dude. Why are these guys such bitches compared to the hammer man? I don't know. Ow, ow. Like he took like ow. four stabs. Big sword man took two, and these guys take three. Okay. Head of Vengarl? I was wrong. You no. Head of Vengarl. Oh, fuck. Gotta go through the misty shit. Do I want to do that? Didn't you get the ring that lets you see the invisible? Oh, it's not a ring, it's an eyeball. But you are correct, I did. So, there should be no problem for you. That's a good point. All right. What's wild, ferret? These nuts. <laughs> this is rapidly becoming an amazing channel meme. <laughs> is terrible these no these nuts jokes. <laughs> like you remember how like these nuts. The whole point of these nuts jokes was that they were supposed to be like catch you off guard, right? Oh, you s you saw the intermission screen? Yeah, because uh. Probably because they got it from Money Python too. <laughs> like, okay, I'm gonna. We used to put. We used to play the. Yes. And then we were like, that got real old. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna pause here for a second. I am gonna lose time for this, but I think it's really important because I think this is a very. I think this is a very uh, interesting piece of history and like mythology that a lot of people don't know about. And if you, uh, so a lot of people are familiar with Achilles of, uh, a lot of people are familiar with Achilles of, um, Achilles heel fame. Right, Achilles heel fame. Um, where the myth, if you don't know the myth of Achilles, like where the Achilles heel comes from, it's that, uh, in order to prepare Achilles for battle, uh, he was held by his ankle and dipped into the river Styx so that he would be so that the whole of him would become like indestructible and immortal but because he was being held by the ankle the ankle didn't get dipped into the into the sticks so that was the only part of him that wasn't immortal and so that was his weak point that's where Achilles heel comes from but most people don't know that he also had a brother a Fophides which um, and Aphophides was also dipped into the river Styx, but he was dipped holding him by his testicles. So the whole of him was immortal except for his penis and testicles. Um, and I think this is really interesting because most people have heard of 
Achilles heel, but most people haven't heard of Apophides nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh... An old, one of our older cashiers at work told me this joke. Mm -hmm. What um, does a healthy dog and a nearsighted gynecologist have in common? What? They both have wet noses. Oh. <laughs> 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 Alright, I need to go into Misty Land and I forget exactly which wall I have to hug. Uh... Hug the left wall, I think. Yeah. You guys ain't shit now. Also, you go down like two hits like benches. There he is. Oh, here we go. Let me just make sure I'm not being followed. What the hell was that? <laughs> 8,000 guys come pouring in that little Believe hole. Me, I like what Wait, I don't have to kill his dude, do I? Go. No. Uh, you. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I talk, 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 I talk. Oop. Whoop. <laughs> almost bought a sword. There you go. Hey, he's got lightning pots, too. Uh, I probably don't need 40 of them. Get 10. Alright. Uh, that, those aren't super useful to me, though. Now, age to feather, which is just infinite homeward bone. <clears throat> I don't need that helmet. I have perfect hat. You have the hat of make bow better. Yes. Actually, no. I think it do. It if it does that, it doesn't say it in the effects list. You're dead again. I'm dead again. Yeah, the load screen said so. Oh. Oh, no, stop, <laughs> stop! I love the name of that spell because it seems more like... <sighs> Wait, do I have any burnable? Dead again. No. Good grief. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. It's the Hat of Lucille, which looks like this, except it has a there giant red mage guys. feather coming off of it. Until it. Let's just get some more levels. Wait, no! <laughs> you know, she doesn't sass you. When you leave uh, without doing anything. Look at the, the hat of Lucille Ball. <laughs> <laughs> the power of shoving infinite cherries in your mouth in a panic. <laughs> or not being able to pronounce Vita Wait, Vita Vegemin because you're drunk off your ass. Was it cherries? Well, You've been looking well. I just remember the episode where they're... Wait, she and her other lady friend were like working at a sweets factory and the belt started going too fast. Oh, yeah, yeah. But was it cherries or was it something? I thought it was chocolate. All right, I need. Was it like chocolate covered something? Six Titanite chunks to max out my hat. I need one, two twinkling Titanites. Whoa, what the fuck is that mask? This one? It's a dragon eye flight mask. No, the one two to the right. It's got like a whole chaos hood? Oh. Alright. Shut up. <laughs> Lady. I need three of No, I need two of you. And I need six of you. Oof. Visit me again. Yeah, big move. But I still have 12,000, so that should be plenty. What? You are God! Okay. <laughs> Alright. And then I use my one Titanite slab. That is maxed out. No, oh, I need. Fuck. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'll be around. Alright, and that's not enough for me to. Up, so I'll go over here, top up on Radiant Life Gems. Okay. Thanks. Thank you kindly. Okay, now, where was I? Back to the Dragon Eye Reed. Do -do. <laughs> yeah. 
insolent armor. <laughs> well, at least you? I don't have to beat. At least I don't have to beat the stupid dragon. Waste time on the stupid dragon rider. Okay, and now we go to the worst area of the game, in my opinion, and yes, worse than the gutter. What gutter guy? Get the hell up! Why? It's the worst attack ever. It doesn't do anything. Like it's a that that's a that's a stagger attack. Yeah, and that's why they took. They're like, okay, it's a dra area full of dragons. No, no, no! It's a trap. It's an area full of dragons. Let's fill it with explody dudes as well. Give me your shit. Alright, got some titanite shards. Not that I particularly need them at this point. Since I can just buy them. Alright, fuckos. Why are they even here? I don't know. You know why they're here? Are they like dragon worshippers or something stupid? No. This is a des I'm talking design. Think about it. You're in an area where shooting a bunch of... Where breaking a bunch of eggs causes you problems. Oh. And they fill them with exploding assholes. Here comes one. Boy, and I... I tell you what, I know a thing or two about exploding assholes. <laughs> um. Whoop! Get thump! Landed on that guy. <laughs> yeah! Jesus Christ! Toss down a couple radiant life gems, heal up. Like, this stupid dragon is a pain, but. G strats. <laughs> Did that hurt him? Yes. Oh, come on, keep your wings steady. I said you were stupid, Cobalt. <laughs> Bonk. Oh yeah, I see his health bar. Whoa! I think he's poisoned. Yeah. And now he's not anymore. <laughs> Just hit him! Some poor schmuck off of the distance. What a lovely day! I think I'll start my morning with some coffee, eggs, and toast. Thunk! Oh, goodness! Where did this come from? <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good. There we go. Thump. Oh, stupid dragon worshippers. Yeah. Oh, you could... Alright. Where are the jinglies? I know you're coming. Oh, up that little hill. Uh, here there they are. Okay. They got the spurs that go jingly, jangly, jingle. After all, that's just the way they are. <laughs> I like it better at Dark Souls 3 onward, where killing those fucking things just give you the item. Uh, they do that in Dark Souls 1, too. I don't know why they changed it for this game in particular. Because fuck you. Okay, I remembered smashing egg bad, so I'm not gonna do that. I think maybe- I think there's something you can get for smash egg, but I forget what it is and- A bad time. <laughs> well, I mean, I think, like, there's something good that you can get, so there's a reason to do it, but I forget what that is, and I don't think it's worth the- the bad. Alright, I gotta kinda, like, take my time here because the last time I went through here, uh, I got wrecked constantly. I heard jinglies. Oh, they're like, they're like on a platform below the bridge. 
All right, you jingly fuckers. Go up. I knew it. I knew it. Ah. Uh... Somebody tell me the lore behind these guys, because I need to know why they're here. To I need to know why they're here so I can justify their presence and not just be incredibly angry at Miyazaki. I don't think Miyazaki had anything to do with Dark Souls. I'm going to blame him for it anyway. It's like <laughs> In the same way that Miyamoto is... We blamed Miyamoto for Lost, lost level. Levels. And he had nothing to do with it. In fact, I believe he didn't like it. Because they ignored everything he said about all of all of his design, design principles. Miyamoto felt very strongly that uh, when like, you set something up as a good, rewarding thing, don't go out of your way to <laughs> don't punish them for hitting the question mark blocks. The question mark blocks are treasure blocks. They should be it should be like, yay, treasure block, and you feel good. But on the other hand, if that had never happened. Oh. <laughs> that guy just remembered something he said embarrassing online. <laughs> oh my god. I remember I'm that one. Cringe. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Everybody has that, right? Everybody has that thing where like if you Google your username, right? You'll and you just start scrolling down, you'll find that thing from like 2016 where you said something and you're like, oh my god, I can't believe I need to go delete that immediately. Uh, pro tip, don't Google yourself. Like, even if... Even if you're, like... Uh... You know, even if you're, like, somebody like me, where, like... It's kind of important... What people will see when they Google you. <laughs> that death sound. Like, like, don't do it. Don't... Like, I'm really upset that my name is forever attached to Inkfer, to Inktfer, because mm. that whole situation is really problematic. And it's like, I don't want to be associated with this, but I don't really have a choice. And shoes to see if I can get a few shots off and poison this piece of shit before he, like... Is he poisoned? I can't yes. tell. Okay, get out of there. Get out of there! Fuck. No! God damn it. That was so much fire. Also, I was behind a rock wall, but okay, sure. Fire just goes through shit. <laughs> Ugh, I hate this place. Well, at least the stupid dragon is gone. <coughs> like, I'm not even concerned about, like, the souls lost at this point. I just... I'm losing time every time that happens. Because now I have to delicately... Do... 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 do, do explode do, 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 do. Uh... Cool. It says... The mummies are Aldia's failed experiment experiments and the dragon airy is all these experiment dumping grounds i see that explains why the dragons are so uh touchy <laughs> cuz their home is some crazy person's person's dumping ground well it's like i'm her sure it's filled with trash and assholes that explode i mean i'm sure there are people in chat who would enjoy some touchy dragons am i right wink wink it's not really a wink wink so much as it is like a, a blatant <laughs> a wink wonk a wonk wonk a wank wank if you will i love the way these guys run though the the, the <laughs> classic johnny depp <laughs> See, this dude's a trap. I want a version of that picture with him running away, of him as Sparrow running away from, like, that army of dudes. Right. But replace everyone in the background with those guys. 
<laughs> the DS2 experience. That or do the same thing, except with uh, Graham Chapman from Meaning of Life, running away from all the naked ladies. <laughs> Well, uh, what was the game? Oh, he like he was given a choice of like how to die, <laughs> and that was what he chose. Or uh, Woody Allen running across the field from a pair of giant breasts. <laughs> uh. Woody Allen is one of those figures where it's like, as a person, he's pretty problematic. And there's a cup, like a couple of his films, that are like, right, like you can, like you can see some stuff in it. We're like, oh dear. Um, but for the most part, like his his filmography is just pure gold. <laughs> I'm dead. And they're talking about wheat. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> now, where can I shoot this piece of shit from where I'm not gonna get horribly murdered? Is there, like... Oh, maybe over here? Yeah, because I should be able to dip down here. Let me just make sure there's no, like, explodey assholes. Alright, I don't see anybody. Alright, should be able to... Should be able to go here. <laughs> That's a safe point in Dark Souls 2. They're not as rare as you might think. What the fuck? Alright, that looks like poison to me. Go, go, go. Get a couple more shots off and run! Okay. He's still coming. That's okay. Just get some shots off. Oop! Run! Ow! Fuck! 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 No! Ah. <laughs> I don't know how I survived that. I was very clearly in the cone of flames. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Oh, fuck's sake. What's collision, right? Incoming. <laughs> that one dragon up there is just watching this and laughing his ass off in the air. Oh. There you go. He's poisoned. Flee. <laughs> Will he survive the poison? It seems like he might survive the poison. Uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Cheese strats, woo! I think Dark Souls was the game that firmly cemented me in the opinion that finding cheese is being good at the game. Like, they're, like... I used to kind of be like, oh, cheese is a little bit lame. Like, you're not really, you know, you're not good at the game. You're just, you know, exploiting it. And then I got to Dark Souls, and I'm like, no, you know what? Finding cheese is a strategy. <laughs> like, these are, these are strats. Whoa! <laughs> My heart. <laughs> no more I'll wet him. <laughs> Finding G's? No G's. I found G's when I was five. The good old baby G. <laughs> Which, you know... I kind of feel like... Like... A lot... A lot of Christians... Find the baby G. Ooh. <laughs> Uh oh. Come on, you prick. Uh, a lot of Christians find the baby G when they're, uh, like, five. <laughs> <laughs> Which is for very good reason. They call it, uh, evangelists 
and fundamentalists in particular refer to the 4 to 14 window, which is the period of time in which you're most likely to make a convert. Which is kind of gross, honestly. Yeah. Because like let's uh let's grab a ch let's grab a young child who can't possibly know the ramifications of the decisions they're making in their lives and Oh, I'm using the wrong... Uh, poison, poison, I'm using the wrong arrows, no! No! <laughs> I think he's poison. Is he? I'll get one off just in case. Uh, <laughs> fuck! I'm not safe here. Uh, Bullshit! There's not even... Come on! This area sucks! I think I'm just gonna try to... Sprint past that dude. Oh my god. I hate this place so much. Are these gloves? Yes. They're my compression gloves. Highly recommend. If you play video games for long periods of time, I highly recommend you get yourself a pair of compression gloves. They're good for your hands. Um, I use them in particular because I have arthritis. Um, and they help a great deal with that. But... For anybody who does like long periods of long gaming sessions, if you do speed running or uh, online PvP, you know, like competitive esports type gaming, they're very they're very uh, helpful for hand health. Can recommend. They'd probably be good for piano playing too. Have you ever noticed watching piano play, like looking at piano players, that their hands are like weirdly jacked up. I'm hearing jangly sounds. It's those dudes up there. They're not gonna come after me if I ignore them. Like, I don't know if it's just because they're like muscly and shit. Make a run for it. Ignore. Just make a run. They'll they'll leave me alone. Speed run strats. Enemy AI fucks off eventually. Cover the stamps. Uh, all right, and I did this already. <coughs> all right. Like, I'll see like a lady who's clearly like in her mid to late twenties, like late twenties at most, and she like looks fresh as a spring chicken, right? Like no wrinkles perfect skin and then the camera will like snap to her hands while she's playing and her hands are like <laughs> like muscly and veiny and it's like what the hell <laughs> it's like a prof it's like a professional bowler with one jacked arm <laughs> yeah <laughs> which you know I mean they're using their hands like crazy so I imagine you know Anytime you use any part of your body regularly, it gets jacked up after a while. <laughs> like if you look at like long time, if you look at like uh, heavy duty guitar players who are like really good at what they do, and you look at their fingers, they're all like calloused and horrible. <laughs> God, do you remember from the Asterix? All right, I need cartoon? to figure out. Can I just blitz past this dude? I think I can. I'm just gonna go for it. You remember from the Asterix cartoon, the 12 tasks? Oh, yeah, yeah. When they got to the javelin throwing guy? And, like, he walks in, and you see him from the side, and, like, he looks like this <laughs> gigantic, muscular dude, but then oh, he, like, God. Here we go. Turns, he turns to face the camera, and his other half is all wimpy and noodly. <laughs> Okay, so this is the bridge I was talking about. When you go on this bridge, you start doing this sort of slow walk because the bridge is like, whoa, whoa, and you might think, okay, well, I'm just going to gun it, right, just mm -hmm. in case this is a trap. If you hit the run button here, you will jump. You will not start running. You will immediately jump, and so, because we jump so high, because this is our jump, that could be a bad time, so I'm just letting you know so you don't... 
Oh, fuck's sake. Go away, blob. <laughs> Tiny blob. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. Hey, buddy. You'd be adorable if you weren't disgusting. Hey, nerd bird. Hello, nerd. Oh, Algia. You're Algia. Hey, he's Algia. Uh, do you, you didn't actually light the bonfire. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I remember him from the first time I played this so many years ago. I have fond memories. You could call it nostalgia. You got him. Okay, that dude bowed to me. Is he <laughs> blah, gonna, like, blah, blah, the truth of the soul. Embrace the darkness, Riku, blah, blah. Tiny dead fuck head man. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Alright, someone's casting spells. Yeah, where'd that come from? It came from, it looked like it came from on top of this roof. It came from on top of, uh, Old Smokey? On top of spaghetti all covered with cheese? I now want a mod for this game that replaces Aldia with a Sans head. <laughs> <laughs> Every time it explodes, it's da -na -na -na. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't play though, just da -na -na -na. My dude. Sup? My dudes? Ooh. <laughs> this dude is not your dude. That's not how you hammer, bro. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. Why are my rolls using so little stamina all of a sudden? Is there a stat that makes your rolls use less stamina that I haven't been paying attention to? Probably adaptability. Adaptability? Or maybe honestly. dexterity? No, it wouldn't be dexterity because that would have been like the very first thing I got. If it's adaptability, I'm gonna crank that shit to hell and back. Yo! <laughs> Andy with the raid! Welcome, my British friend! Hold on, I need to switch to British mode. Make him feel at home. Wah! Wah! Hey! Woohoo! Get him! This is what British people sound like. Yes! <laughs> Hello, everybody. Chat's going crazy and I'm busy. Please help me say hi to them. British the mode in it. Yeah, British mode in it. Ah, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst British accent. No, 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 tell him. He knows this ain't bad. <laughs> I've heard worse, yes. <laughs> Alright, take, take, take a... Uh... It's on a bobby, <laughs> oh boy, we're cool, blimey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, here we go. There's a whole bunch of shit you can do around here that I could probably go do, but I really don't wanna. I just wanna go talk to Dragon Friend. I like that these Dragon dudes don't even bother attacking you. I'm not really sure why, though. Not Whoa! This, not this guy. No, this guy... Eh. Eh. <laughs> get, get, get back here. <laughs> You'll come back here. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Uh, hey guys, he's attacking our dude. Should we do something about it? Nope, nope. No, he's just testing Honor us. Honorable combat. He's testing us. See if she's worthy, you know. She might be king one day, you know? <laughs> uh, so anyway. Did <laughs> chat. See, this is the only problem. Like, this is what I've always been afraid of with, with chat, is when chat goes by too fast for me to keep track of. You can scroll chat, you know, and tell me if when people say interesting things. My my man, Mr. Dragon, you are you are beyond my capacity to befriend. I find it interesting that he just sort of speaks to your head in weird noises. It's like uh it's like the giant cat god from Oh yeah. Uh <laughs> we from Night in the Woods. I I believe we made the celestial cat speak in uh puppy cat voice <laughs> npcs are part of the dual covenants that's why they only oh they only do duels neat i Durgan. would i would pet it if i could raider from just psalm <laughs> let's head over there and get psalm <laughs> all right uh i think i'm done Did here you get the thing 
yeah, I got the, I got the item he gives me. So away. I've got it's the Ashen Mist Heart. This is the thing that lets me go into memories. <clears throat> um, oh, off we go. Time to hop into some memories. Ooh, yep, and I know. Are you gonna go to Vendrick first? Nope. Or where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. It would help if the raider messages would go away now. Like, they're, like they're where, where it says where it says they the are a raider because it makes the chat like gigantic, gigantic and fly by. Yeah, they're here. They're ours now. We there's own a them. <laughs> there's a setting in chat that I can change, or there there's a setting in Twitch that I can change that makes it go away faster. Like it is nice to see like that they're raiders for a little bit. Cobalt says if you bring a summon in, they're like, no duel, no honor, and they all gank you. <laughs> that sounds right. Oh, speaking of, I remembered the other day. Oh, fuck. Some of the fights in the DLC I'm doing. Oh, right, they don't like the light. And, uh, I'm not excited. Because <laughs> I, like, I, I know I had to fight the Squalid Queen, which is, she has, she, like, summons shit at you. In addition to throwing dark magic at you. Right. But then I remembered there's a gank fight against the Havel and two other dudes. Like, NPC dudes. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, cool, great. I'm looking forward to having to deal with that shit. Like, the dragon seems like it's going to be a fun fight. And then it's going to be ruined. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Uh, thanks for not noticing, ow. Ow, what the fuck? There's Stop. a guy behind you. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> what the fuck? There's a guy behind you. I know! <laughs> it's just uncool. I'm just salty about... I'm salty about the stupid fuckitude. Where... Is it this door? It doesn't open from this side. Ah! Oh, fuck's sake. Exposures everywhere. One basilisk somewhere. Uh, excuse me. If I could... If rolling could be a thing that I do... Oh, fuck off! <laughs> That's how you use a spear! You whomp him! <laughs> I mean... Ew, he was sick on you. <laughs> Did I get them both? Why am I... I'm slow. Oh, he got you with... Yeah, he got you with a spider spit. There's yeah, the yeah, yeah, just let me in. Okay, this isn't the right area. I'm gonna break your bookshelves. I hope you don't mind. No. Hoot hoot. Hoot. <laughs> I'm a crow. Hoot hoot. Nope. Tank it. Shoot the bastard. Aim and shoot! Dude, we haven't played that game in so long. Vegas 2? Yeah. I kind of want to... I bought you a copy of it, and I have a copy, and then I was like, let's play it! And then, oops! It doesn't support controllers! So we would have to play it with, like, keyboard and mouse, which I hate. Now, how the fuck do I get back over there? I forget. Is it um, through this door? No. <laughs> Come by my house just down the road. I've got boss weapons! <laughs> <laughs> That's, um, 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 happy souls. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Spoder jump scare. Could you... Happy souls is like... Basically old school internet at this point. Alright, where... Oh, here we go. Okay. Just, just run. Just get out of here. Ignore. 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 Um. Ignore. Did we ask Andy what he was up to? No. What were you playing, Andy? 
tell us what was the halves? What was the halves? What was the dues? <laughs> he sounds like a mutant pigeon. Oh, we should probably tell our we should probably tell our uh, new audience what we're doing. Oh, we're doing a Dark Souls two race. Um, basically, each of us made a build, and we're seeing who can beat the game in the least number of streams. Uh, we're playing we're playing with an easy mode mod, so it doesn't take f fifteen trillion years. And I, I and with a few with a few cheats like unlimited torch, and unlimited durability, because those we think those things are stupid. Yeah. Um. And it's I I call it more of a normal mode mod, because like, as you may have seen earlier, <laughs> you still you still got pretty wrecked by that by those dragons. By dim worms. Take that. Whoa, he's not dead. Ow. Spider is more important. Like, doesn't matter how weak the spider is, spider dies first all the time, always. I mean, they leave me alone, though. <laughs> I don't care. Murder. <laughs> um, spiders get death unless they're hot spiders. So, like, we can't be lazy. We will get killed if we're lazy. But, uh... And we can still, like, lose souls. So I think right now I'm in the lead. Unless I unless I fuck up real bad. This is round four. This is the top of round four. Um, I, pr I'm, pr uh, oh, and the target is kill Nishantra, acquire one DLC crown. Yes. Um, it doesn't matter which one, doesn't matter which crown, just get one of them. Um, and unless I fuck up real bad, I should be able to do that this stream. Which will mean if I do that, Panda will have one more stream. If he can beat his in his next stream, it'll will it'll be a tie. It's a mean easy mode mod. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> The easy mode can only the easy mode can only uh, compensate for so much of this game's jank. Yeah. All right, feather away. All right, and then we'll go back to Majula with this soul. Grab. I need two more twinkling titanites, I think. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Panic. I pressed the wrong button and away I went. Oof. <sighs> okay. Nope. If and if he dies a whole bunch against the uh, burnt ivory king again, <laughs> it's gonna turn into. You know, there's really not much that can save this game, and it's horse shit. <laughs> yeah, how I do against the... How I do against the... Iron... You gotta the, buy stuff. Right. Two Twinkling Titanites, and then I'm maxed out. I love how... Well, many times I walked... Over to the Emerald Herald... When I was meaning to go talk to uh, her... Miss Ponytail. I have three Titanite chunks. I should be able to upgrade this bow already. Oh. Yep. Yes. And it is now plus nine, so I need a Titanite slab. What you have? Oh, I do. Yeah. Look at that. There you go. Max bow. And I need six more chunks to level that up to nine. How about your armor? I'll be around if you want. Uh, my armor, I just need... I'll provide. Let's see. So I need... Six chunks. And a slab. 
And then I need two of these. And that should be Visit me everything again. maxed. Whenever you uh, controller? Yes, I can. Be busy for me. I'm here to get your services. Okay. And... Oh. Max Pants. I got more Twinkling Titanite and I forgot. So I bought Twinkling Titanite that I didn't need. I'll be around. Cool. Alright, but all my equipment is now maxed out. So now I can just dump the rest into levels, level up. Adaption! I mean... More health would be an option, too. Get that poise. But, like, get that 30 adaption. High adaptation, more endurance. See, like, I'm using less... I'm using less... Uh, oh, no, there's agility. Hold on. There's the agility stat. Does it say what it boosts ease of evasion and other actions? Just that doesn't help. Just be like reduces stamina use for rolling and running or whatever. Grr. Round four. Yes, this is. Panda and I have each done three streams up and up before this one. So. Um. Yeah, Pan and I have each done three streams before this one. So this is my fourth stream. So it's round four. The top of round four is, you know, like, top of the ninth inning. It's top of the fourth inning, top of the fourth round. Panda has a chance, even if I win in this stream, Panda then has a chance to win in his stream to get a tie. Do I have... I don't... I do not have Estes Flash Shard. Oh no, Panda has to bend. <sighs> Alright, nutty buddies, break out the break out the nutty buddies. It's time for some little fucking Debbie. Hell yeah. Little Debbie is like just below hostess, I think, in terms of shit that tastes decent but is bad for you. Yeah, but you know what little Debbie has over hostess? What? It's fucking affordable. That's true. Like this box cost me two dollars and sixty nine cents. All right, uh -huh. and it's filled with a whole bunch of packages of these. Eh. Ah. Don't nutty buddy my dick. <laughs> Your dick is a nutty buddy. This it's is buddies with two nutties. This is a clever strategy by Panda to make me do stuff that isn't play. Wow. Oh. But you won't say no. No, I won't. To a delicious dick of nut. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> oh, I got another box of Little Debbie stuff where it's like peanut butter sticks. Jizz, what you do is you jizz into one of those popsicle <laughs> thingies and freeze it. <laughs> uh, but it's like these, but they're like, they got peanut butter in them. Mm -hmm. They're basically like butter fingers, but they don't get stuck in your fucking teeth. Mm. I'm uh, a, hold on. I'm of the opinion Horny that... bonk for the kobold... <laughs> I'm of the opinion that nutter butter or that, that um, butterfingers are uh, they're they're like a hard they're they're a hard candy. They're like Jolly Ranchers. You just you just suck on them. You don't you don't chew butterfingers. <laughs> like if you eat one butterfinger bar, like if you chew one butterfinger bar, your dentist will know it. You'll go to your dentist the next time, and they and then he'll be like. Have you been eating Butterfingers? <laughs> There's still Butterfinger here. <laughs> like, when did you eat a Butterfinger? And you're like, three years ago. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Kind of chews through my poise there. Produce symbol of king. There you go. Dum -de dum dum dum. Get this out of here. See, I love the delicious taste of a Butterfinger. What I don't love is the delicious taste of cement. And it says nothing about stamina consumption, but like, look how little stamina my rolls use. 
Like, maybe nothing. It's, maybe it's always been like that, and the only reason I use so much is because I'm wearing fuck-off heavy armor. Okay. This sucks. <laughs> Butt spot perish. <laughs> Sturberg! <laughs> Did we get an answer from Andy? About what? What he was doing? I didn't see one. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> we. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna let them do their thing for now. Because there are bombs. Bombs bad. Bombs are like instant death. It was at this moment when Vendrick realized he had fucked up. <laughs> Alright. Come on. Finish off all the small dudes. Just don't get hit, yo. Oh. Damn, I think I'm in... Okay, I'm not in bad... I'm not in bad realm territory. Whoa, what Whoa. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Just go. Don't try to question this shit. It's more time. <laughs> Just a giant head appeared. Oh, there's a summon here somewhere, and I... Ow. No, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I hope he's weak to lightning. <laughs> uh, looks like it. <laughs> Ow, fuck. It's like fighting the last giant again. But he's got a sword. Much more. Oh, your health. My health? Why is my health so low? Stab leg. Ow. He's like hitting you with the back swings on his legs. Stab. Okay, got him. Phew. Victory, Victory achieved. achieved. Okay. All right, I got the, I got the giant soul. I got the kinship. Take soul of giant. Leave. Victory, nutty buddy. Victory, nut. Um, um. Back to Majula. Spend souls. Now, I don't think either of us are going to fight Vendrick. It's like, I don't think either of us are going to fight Schmendrick. Um, don't you need all the crowns in order to fight Schmendrick? I think so. But you also want to bring, if you're going to do that, you want to bring, you don't want to use these. You want to bring them to that fight because they will, the more you have, the weaker he gets. Hmm. Bearer of plenty. <clears throat> Why would I need milk to eat a candy bar? Uh, okay. How many levels am I getting? Six. Um... More vitality, I guess? Hold on, I want to see something. Yeah, this doesn't raise my agility. I believe it's adaption. Uh, attunement also increases agility? Well, I think you- I think leveling up in general increases some stats a little bit. No, but like, look. Attunement specifically highlights agility. Like, each, it, each of them highlights the stats that they will raise Weird. in particular. And attunement raise- Oh, I wonder if that's because agility inc also increases cast speed. Maybe. No, cast speed is a different stat. Why does attunement raise agility? That's weird. Is that just so that... No, I don't understand. Petrify resistance? Oh, that's gonna go because of here. Uh, a Toon Sturberger increases Agilisterberger. Eh. Slower than adaptability. 
It's still weird. Yeah, because you cast faster, but that's what cast speed is. It's That's a different stat. I don't understand. Uh, ooh, I can increase my damage. Not still. Not a whole lot. I mean, four points is four points. Um, because, because I do have an S, an S tier dexterity scaling weapon. Um, it also increases my defenses. Increases my poison and bleed bonuses. Mm. Like, because at this point, I'm pretty much at the soft cap for just about everything. So, except health. Except health. I don't really need that much health, honestly. More cushion for the pushing. <laughs> Cause they push you around a lot, dude. Cushion for the pushing is what is a really good word for pubes. <laughs> it's also a great w word for being a fat fuck. Um, you know what? More damage. Damage and framage. Let's go. Okay, so travel to the undead crypt. Undead. Ditch. No, you want the first one. Do I? Yeah, because you just need to oh, walk yeah, in across, across the ledge yeah, yeah, okay. and vendor. Yep, yep. Bee, boo, boo, bee. I didn't fuck this guy off, right? As long as you didn't enter his area. Like the area he is in with a torch. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Um. Sure. Torch. Oh, torch, whatever. Why are you still here? Um, can I? About this side. There we go. Oh. oh, here it comes. Ow! It's got good range on the shield. He sure does. All right. Whoop! Go the right direction. Go the right direction. <laughs> Ow! Was she oh, that wasn't bad at all. Was she singing her own theme tune music? Da 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 Fucking asshole. <laughs> you come sprinting in here like, oh god, oh god, <laughs> and he's like, human, do not produce like oh, I the br <coughs> I couldn't see the bridge. I thought it was down, for, like gone for some reason. <laughs> Do not produce light. H human, are you listening to me? Oh, God! <laughs> you are so rude, human. Be careful. Right. I was just gonna ring the lunch bell. Where is he? There he is. Eat shit. Alright. Now I don't have to deal with the ghosts because those ringy bell assholes will spawn endless ghosts. Although if you have one hit kills on, these two that spawn like here and here, for some reason, just die instantly. Had the man back, had that guy backed up like four feet, he'd have been the wall of a 10,000 year denial. What the fuck, what's that? I don't know. Ow. What Ow. are these swings they're doing? They're just like, eh. <laughs> okay. Dealt with you. Onward. I hate claw running. It's so fucking. Uh. Stomp, stomp, stomp. In we go. Just a woman in the distance. <laughs> Seeker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Schmender, give me your thing. <laughs> Wait. Doesn't he give me a thing? And you. 
I thought he gave me a thing. Did I come here for no reason? Also, there's that guy over there, but you can't get to him. Yeah, it's the guy you fought <coughs> to reach him in the first place. Huh. I could have sworn he gives you a thing. I guess I came here for no reason. 20 to 30 years from now, you want a game that links the, all these games together? That's, uh... That's, uh, optimistic, I feel. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting to think that, uh... Dark Souls 3 is the last of the Dark Souls games. Is it though? I mean, until someone else takes over from software and it's like, we need another Dark Souls game, make it happen. Okay. So, but we ended the series. Not addition. I pay you. It ends when I say it ends. All right. Um. This is the hard fight. So I'm gonna go do this one first. So right now, basically, I need to find, I think there are three of them? Yes. Just chilling out in here somewhere. At least it's not cold anymore. That is true. I mean, it's still cold, but... So, I believe there were paths that were locked off. I can kill these guys in two hits now. Unless, unless they're blocked. Unless, yeah, unless they are blocking with their stupid ass shields. So I believe there were... Uh, or... Or just that one guy was a bitch. Um, I believe that there are three paths that were blocked off by ice. Ow. So now they are not blocked off. And I should be able to go there. Okay. I don't know why some of them are like... So I should be able to go there now. And... Ow. <laughs> womp, womp. Have you ever been bitten by a dog and it goes womp? <laughs> But I don't know this area very well. I've been headbutted by a cat and it goes and it went womp. So I don't know where to go. Some of these ladies just don't seem to attack you. And some of them do, and I don't want to risk it. Holy shit. Synchronized murder attempts. Ah! Ow! Estes, Estes, Estes. <laughs> Mitch, you came at me. You brought it on yourself. <laughs> I like this guy's, uh... I like that guy's giddy-up attitude. Yeah, like, because this, it's hard to, especially because those slow-moving sorceries tend to, like, they tend to show up while you're trying to deal with other shit, you know? Ow. <coughs> oh, he did the way of the poke, Strat. Smart boy. It's the most dangerous. I don't know if I'm even going in a correct-ish direction right now. Isn't there a really shitty invader in this DLC? I don't know. Now, fortunately, I do know that there are no frozen... I do know that there are no dudes in the outskirts. So I don't have to go there, and I will not be going there. You don't have to deal with happy horse times? Nope. Q into the stream where it turns out you were wrong and every single one of them is there. <laughs> um, fun fact though, in the frozen outskirts there are three, count them, three summons. <laughs> so you can just, ow. 
fuck's sake. So you can, like, have this, like, crew summon train. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> fuck. Like, this is what I'm worried about, is that I'm gonna waste my entire stream wandering around here. Going, like, the wrong direction. Is there anything of value in here? Soul vessel? No. I'm not wasting my stream. A sorcerer's twin blade. Uh, Panda isn't doing this DLC, so... So it doesn't really matter what I do here. Fuck. He's doing Sunken City because he hates himself. <laughs> Where'd she come from? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the room. Look at these guys trying to be sneaky. <laughs> oh, that's mini men. <laughs> Way the Pope, baby, get wrecked. It's all the lost and dead. He looked like he knew where he was. <laughs> or maybe he was I lost on from, the inside. I got that from the doggo. <laughs> Ow! The gusher. The main the main issue with the with the gushers is that uh, they take forever to use versus the Estus flasks. Like it's not even the heal speed that's the issue because you can pop it and then dodge around for a bit while you heal. Um, there's this area over here, but I don't think there's a dude back there. I feel like they're all oh. in the castle area. Yeah. I don't think there is over there, but... Random torch man. I think he has a torch. Whoa! Backstab? A backstabs. Hee hee. You're covered in powdered sugar. This dude's just kind of hanging out. So much hit points. Is there a reason to come over here? It's just a bell helm. Now you can bing the bong. Dude, I can annihilate a bag of gushers. Gushers are so good. Um, am I supposed to be? Can I get down there? I, oh, oh, oh I've been down there. Yeah. It's just that would be a shorter way to get back there, which it's starting to seem like I need to go back. I think this, yeah, it's just a torch. Bonfire. Is that bonfire? Which you've popped that, right? Yep. Wow. Slow your roll, sir. Again, you didn't have to come at me, bro. Woo! Big smashy! The secret to the the secret to rack him up is to target the dude in back. <laughs> this. Unfortunately, will not that tip will not work in orgies. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, don't target the wallflower in orgies. 
<laughs> Except I'm picturing it in like. Yeah, come on, dude. <laughs> there it all goes. Eighty dollar keyboard, eighty dollar mouse. Just chuck them on the floor. Fuck your shit. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I was just picturing. I was just picturing it like Dark Souls, like the little white reticle appears, and he just pulls out his spear and starts charging at him, like rah. What the fuck? Where is everything? Goddamn mummies are everywhere. <laughs> Kinda looks like he'd look a lot like, uh... Um, okay, so over Ornstein here... Ornstein underneath all that... Frozen. Yeah, that's the, that's the frigid outskirts. Butt spot will never heck off. This goes someplace. Uh -huh. To a room with Fraser. And is my is my big friend gonna come in here and fight me? It sure is. Oh come on! That's a lot of damage. It sure is. Two can play at that game. Also, these goose have Estus flasks for some reason. Get fucked. No, you turned him into a popsicle. Lance? Because he's frozen, you rammed <laughs> stick up his bum. Every chest is potentially a waste of time or a mimic. some checks. <laughs> I was kind of hoping you'd just go from chest to chest in every <laughs> single one of those in there. Am I wasting my time here? Nom nom nom. Yep. How about here? Nom nom nom. Uh-huh. <laughs> nom nom. Oh my god, these chests all suck. I mean, these ones are metal. You could just give them a poke. You can give the wood ones a poke, too. I think the only time you have to worry about maybe not giving him a, giving him a poke is if you have like a massive fuck all weapon. Ooh, two bright bugs. Brute bugs. What the fuck? Whoa, dude, that reaction time. Yeah, really. <laughs> Not really sure why I did that, but okay. Oh, hey, Ferris Lockstone. Wait, how come you can see me? I legitimately don't know what this does, but we're gonna find out. Will it be Summons stupid? the storm back, ruins everything. Oh, I think. Maybe there's a man in here. Nope, it's a chest. You Sniff pop test. open one of these, those chests and just a night head pops up. Hello there. <laughs> um, you can, but it's the, like that one, like I, I didn't see it immediately. You kind of have to sit there. There's a faster way to check for mimics that I just didn't do, which is just you pull your camera over here so that it's tries to go behind the chest. If the chest uh, acts solid and pushes your camera forward in front of it, it's a regular chest. If it doesn't, and you can still see the chest, it's a mimic. That's the that's the fastest way. That's the fastest sniff test. Uh, like some chests. Wait, was this frozen off? Some chests, like 
you'll see like you'll see it breathe so you'll see like the teeth as you come up on it but if you don't see that because it's like not in breathy mode um god damn it oh fuck that Holy shit, a plus eight priest chime, Christ. For me, that's the fastest way. I don't have to, like, scrutinize it. Ow. I don't have to scrutinize it or, like... Um... Because, like, in the first Dark Souls, you could tell really easy. Ow. You could tell really easy by looking at the chain. Yeah. Um, there weren't any. I don't think there were any metal chests in the first Dark Souls. No. But uh, any chest in this game can be any chest in this game can be a mimic, including your chest. Uh, <laughs> your boobs just. Oh, I'm rah, 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 rah. Got myself a shortcut. I guess that's neat. I don't know where I'm going. Oak. Eh. <laughs> this sucks. Make boys go away. Am I going in even remotely the right direction? I don't know. That tends to be the story of all these guys in these games. This man was standing here for 500 years, and then some person just finally shows up and kills him. Ring of resistance. What does that do? Resist poison, bleed, curse, and petrify. Res oh, I thought it said resist all that resist. Uh. Um, I came there's a ladder the, down over there. Yes. Uh, I don't want to do <laughs> the this. The mimic when it bursts out of your chest. I misunderstood the assignment. <laughs> I'm so wet now. <laughs> Covered in juices. Ooh, lots of doggos in here. <laughs> Low FPS dogs! They've got Pokemon Scarlet Syndrome. <laughs> I'm two feet away from you, therefore I must keep my CPU level down. Pokemon Scarlet pissed me off because, like, I started playing it, and, uh, I started playing it, and it seemed like it would be, like, the concept of it seemed, like, really cool. I was like, oh, this could be really interesting as a Pokemon game. This is, you know, this is new concept stuff going on here. You know, it's massive fuck off open world kind of thing where you can really like mo Pokemon games historically have been very linear you know go to this go, right. you know, go to this gym go to this gym whereas Scarlet seemed like oh here we go Scarlet seemed really like oh hey like you can kind of just go and do oh I don't want to deal with her and him at the same time uh shoost her with Poison arrows? How about I just go over here and she can come to me. That's an elevator. I don't want to do it in there. Oh, come on. Here she comes. <laughs> um. <laughs> nope, there she go. <laughs> She's fucking pulling a Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Where'd he go? Sniper? I guess maybe. Get her with that poison. Is she far? She's too far. God damn it. I don't know how hard she hits, so I don't know if I can trade blows with her. Ooh, there we go. Have a good night, nerd bird. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Oh, her her attacks can't hit me. Get poisoned, bitch. I can't. <laughs> I 
Is she out of... Ow. Come on. There we go. Um... <laughs> oh, he's... He's... <laughs> he's... He's not leaving. He was being oh. the NPC. Oh. Um, You're quite strong. I am quite strong. Does this feel significant? Wait. <gasps> a man! Yay, a man! What? Oh, oh, oh my god, is it that time already? Jesus Christ, alright. So, here I go. <laughs> alright, I freed one. So, the primary reason why I want those dudes is not that they help me necessarily with the other dudes. It's they seal the portals. So that more dudes can't pour through when you're fighting the Burnt yeah. Ivory King. Um, where does this go? It, it goes, goes up. It goes down. No! Sunken King DLC. <laughs> uh, is this another shortcut Shorty cut? door? Uh, Looks... Well, I haven't been down here, so... Or... Oh, I have no idea where I am. <laughs> That's an invisible dude, though. Drank way too much coffee. He's so jittery. <laughs> um, that's a fog gate. I don't think it means anything. Skeptic spice, alluring skull. I think this just goes to a new area. Hey, or a bonfire. A bonfire. Hey. I think you're on the path to more dudes. Hopefully. Hey, that's just a regular fucking mage lady. Yeah. Not yeah. some weirdo who's like, I can take him with my tiny knife. Hey, idiot, I'm down here. Tum 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 bye. You can use an alluring skull to draw out a wild Davis ar arena. Who? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. No. Mm -hmm. For a sec, you know, in my head, I was rolling through jokes about what that lever could do that wasn't actually pulling open that door. <laughs> ah! oh, why is the mimic awake? <laughs> Um, Radiant Life Gem. Ah, here it comes, it's a nightmare. <laughs> Why are you the way you are? No, fuck off. Don't lick me. Ow. Eh. Eh. At least they don't Oh god. Oh, no, it's... Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you did not die peacefully. Ew. Ow, at least the mimics don't hit particularly hard. They mostly fuck you if you... Uh... You will feed this fellow. And if I can get this guy to stop... Casting, casting spells, spells. and follow me. And be a man. Come on. Whoa! They attack? Oh. They are a trap. Well, maybe they do. Uh, well, now there's two of them. Ow, oof. Ow, ooh, ow, ooh, ee, ooh, ow. Um, where door? Where door? You're getting backed into a corner. <laughs> this is Black Gulch all over again. <laughs> okay, one down. Alright. Ting tang. What are we I don't know why he's saying that, but, you know. Because I was saying, ooh, ee, wow, wow. Oh. <laughs> that kind of just makes you sound like an AI voice trying to say a bunch of vowels in rapid succession. We need to sit down and watch ghost stories. 
Like, I want to watch that with Cleo. So... That's that, uh, anime, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, ghost stories as in... Whoa, whoa. Oh, this fucker. Is this the asshole this who is the runs barrel. away? No, this is the barrelman. Where are you? What? Somewhere around here is a barrel. Ah! Ah, oh, damn it, I didn't have any stamina to roll. Yeah, like, he runs around and he tries to hide. And then sneak up and backstab you. Destroy all barrels. And then, like... Oh, fuck. Oh, it's just a chest. I don't and then if it. shit doesn't go well for him, he runs away like a little bitch. Um... Oh! These... These dudes don't give anything. They're just big traps for, like, you kill dudes and then they rise from... The Far from the hall. So, like, I'm gonna kill her and then she's gonna raise one of these fuckers to life. Wolf Sparta! Cling. Um. So, uh, Ghost Story. Ghost Stories is an anime uh, that it didn't do particularly. It's based on a. It's based on a series of books, like not mangas, books. And. Uh, what's that door? Looks like an important door. Uh, and it didn't do particularly, but, uh, it's based on a series of books, uh, and about, like, these, like, elementary school kids, like, I think, I think, like, late elementary school, I think they're supposed to be, like, 12, 13, something like that, and who, the world is haunted, and, uh, they have to, like, banish ghosts or whatever. Um, and it didn't do particularly well in Japan, so when they sent it over to ADV... Interesting. When they sent it over to ADV for dubbing, they basically said, like, you have, like, three rules to follow. Rule one, um, you can't change the characters' names. Rule two, the way they defeat the ghosts... Oh, you can't change the ghosts' names. And rule three, you can't change the way they defeat the ghosts, because it's, like, Japanese lore stuff. Otherwise, you can do whatever the hell you want. We don't care. So, basically... Um... Okay, I can't go through... Here? Oak wall? Huh. Curious? Um... So, basically, like... The writers just sort of wrote a little bit and then brought in the voice actors and said, Fuck it, do whatever you want. We don't care. So, basically, the way it worked was that the first voice actor who showed up got to do whatever they wanted, and then the rest of them had to, uh... And then the rest of them had to just sort of work with whatever the first dude recorded. Um, uh, Nerdbur says you're invaded, so the area is closed. Oh, that means I gotta find this fucker. Ah, break every barrel. Um... So, like, it's super irreverent, it's not very non-PC humor, um, like, alright, where is this fucko? Oh, well, there's stairs up, stairs down, barrels there, smash every barrel, <laughs> eh. Like, uh, one of, the, like, they kind of pick fun, like, one of the main characters, they decided to just make this, like, ah, there he is. They decided to make this, like, super, like, like, ultra-Christian, uh, and, like, they, they 
break the fourth wall a lot. Why am I still breaking stuff? Um, they, one of the weirder things is like how much weird upskirting there is given that the characters are like 12. All right, back to the other dude. Um, and they, which they kind of like pick on that a bit, but they also kind of just lean into it. Um, so it's just, it's hilarious. Um, but you also kind of have to just accept, like, you have to be okay with it being, like, really non-PC humor, you know? Like, they'll say some things. <laughs> and they, uh, they, they've said that oh, they- don't go that way. <laughs> they've said that they, like, they were equal opportunity offenders, which, from what I saw, yeah, very much so, like, nobody is safe from these guys, from these dudes. Oh, I'm here. Now. There's, so there's, ah, uh, there's still one dude! I need Wait, all is the dudes. He... No, you defeated the, you defeated the yeah. lion already. That goes back to the beginning. Over there. Uh, okay. Um. Well, there's more stairs and ladders down there. That is true. Search every cranny and nook. Like, you may have seen a clip from it in a meme where, like, it shows this anime girl. Like, I'm hearing, like, gurring. Yeah, like a big stompy dude. Um, where it shows this girl and she's, like, talking about this, like, pet rabbit. <laughs> I miss his laughter. <laughs> I miss his... Uh, I miss his little requests. Touch me. His reprimands. Touch me harder. <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, Markiplier saw that in one of his Try Not to Laughs, but it didn't play the last bit of it. <laughs> where she's, where it shows us, like, ma you know, the massive, like, evil demon rabbit. And she's like, I know now that it could never work between us. Not because you're a rabbit, but because you're black. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you don't have to worry about barrels anymore. <laughs> it's just, it's that sort of shit. And then it's so funny. Like, um, how do you get up there? I don't know. You don't have to fall down, do you? What am I missing? So. What kind of game is this? Uh, that goes up to where you get the priestess. Wait, is there... Did you go up those stairs? What stairs? It's where that little area is? I don't know. Because I believe we got here and we are like, I don't know where we are. No, this is where you get the priestess eye. Oh, okay. Um... Uh, this is the shortcut that brought you here. Hmm. 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 Nope. No idea. <laughs> um, I guess I could go back to the beginning and see if there's, like, a direction that I didn't go. That maybe I missed. I don't wanna- I don't wanna- If you homeward bone, does it respawn the dudes? Or does that only happen when you actually sit at a bonfire? I don't remember. Because homeward boning would be faster at this point. It responds them. Okay, no homeward boning for me then. Hello? Kathump. I heard it. Was that just uh, physics? That was physics retaking its hold. <laughs> uh, this way? Yes. This way? Yes. This way? There it is again. Hey, what the fuck is that? There's just some dude down there breathing real heavy. Making fucking prank calls. Alright, so this goes back to the beginning. Which is where I want to go. Eight tigers. What the, why did the... 
why did Danny Elfman Christmas spooky Christmas music kick in? That's the boss music of the first demon in the first Dark Souls. Oh. Um, I believe the Taurus demon has the same boss music. Okay, so that goes down to that whole way where I've already been. It also sounds like Beauty and the Beast, yes. Funny how so much music sounds like other music. <laughs> Funny how it turns out that Denny Elfman wrote everything ever, and he's actually a time-traveling composer. Funny when how when you only have eight notes in the scale... Most music and like you can end up finding music that sounds exactly like other music. Like we pick on Danny Elfman, but like, you know who else? Like, like you can inst like you can almost interchange his music as like John Williams. Like brilliant composer. Ooh, that was close. Brilliant composer, but like Um Okay. Oh, there's a summon here. How long has the summon been here? Lucatiel! Hey. Um Speaking Oh, and a second summon. And a second summon. Who's this? Bellhead man! <laughs> I am the, the bell. bell. <laughs> the bells of Saint Mary. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're trying to f do, fight the boss. You just hear in the background. <laughs> uh, where's this last guy? I'm using up all my time. I've only got like an hour and a half left. Which seems like a lot, except it takes like... 30 minutes to traverse this whole area. Also, one of my favorite... See, and I'm picking on Danny Elfman, but one of my favorite pieces of film soundtrack of all time is the opening for... Um, as the opening for Edward Scissorhands, which is just an absolutely gorgeous piece of music, soundtrack or not, just straight up, just straight up one of the most beautiful pieces of music I've ever heard. Hey, Bellhead, are you ready to go? Ding dong. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> like he's just like, ding dong. Nice. I am surprised it's you like, triggered. Uh, None of those guys. Yeah. Of course, those guys might be harder because there is a chest that you can't get to in the middle of them. Have I gone up here? No, this is just the beginning again! <laughs> God! There's nothing over... There's. That's just where I... Uh, Barrel McDickhead was. I'm gonna end up backtracking over the whole damn map because, like, I missed a turn somewhere. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think of me? Ding dong. That hurts, man. <laughs> Why do you gotta be like that? Alright, look down. Yeah, that's death. But I hear something down there, right? So there's got to be a way to go down. Oh, is it that guy? <laughs> He's breathing so loud. He is. Which, that implies that there's... A way to get up. You, how do you get up there? Because I haven't... I haven't been up there. How do? Like, I have to go... Wait. How did I get here? <laughs> you came through that door. This door. Yeah, when you first came here. But I couldn't have gotten left. through this door. No, no. When you first got to this area, you came through that door. And then you walked over, pulled uh -huh. the lever, and entered the okay. area. So I need to go behind me that way. So where is a way to go 
that way. <laughs> Barrel McDickhead found. Two years. <laughs> Five months. 23 days. Four hours. Three minutes. 27 seconds. <laughs> oh, what a good skit. It is a tie. <laughs> what the? What the fuck is this? This. <laughs> Oh, uh, come on! <laughs> I can I can get up there. Uh, come on, <laughs> please. Love these physics. Woo! <laughs> I can just get on the. No, <laughs> please. What did you think of those strawberry Twinkies, man? Ding dong. Nah, uh, yeah. I suppose I could see that they they did taste a little artificial, but they're Twinkies, man. What about them isn't artificial? <sighs> you remember when... I'm gonna... Do you remember when Twinkies, like, disappeared for a bit because Hostess went out of business? And I am 100% convinced that that was a marketing ploy. Yeah, like... Oh, we're going out of business! You'll miss us so that when we come back, you'll be like, Oh my god! Twinkies! Get all the Twinkies! Woo! Um... This way? Like, I'm trying to think of, like, ways I've been where there was a fork in the road. And I went one fork. Uh, you haven't been down that way. Aha! Uh -huh. Where those docks came from, which means now we're entering into a place where there can be more dudes! Yes, but where dudes? No, it's just a tra chest. That's a trap. <laughs> well, it's not a mimic. It's just a wilted dusk herb. I'm glad I came here. <laughs> Fucking goddamn it. Um. There's a ladder. That that would be backtracking. Um. But there's also the other direction over here. You just remember when you were young, confused, and thought a Twinkie was a min-maxer in an MMO? <laughs> I can see that. I don't think I've ever heard that term myself, but I 100% see you play, see people playing like World of Warcraft and being like, "Man, look, these fucking oh, this is min-maxing Twinkie, these this fucking Twinkies, they ruined the <laughs> PvP." <laughs> Where is it? I hate this. Fucking mazes, also, I'm all sweaty. Like, how much backtracking do I have to do? Like, the only option to me, if it's not in that area we've seen but don't know how to get to, is that it's just gotta be in an earlier area that you missed. It's gotta be in that area that we saw but don't know how to get to. It's just, I don't know how to get there. One of these one of these games they make, they should make it so you can climb up the wrong side of the ladder so that you're like ting 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 bonk. God damn it. Ting 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 goes the other side. Ting 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 That's a death hole. Sure is. That's just down where the wood chest was. Why is that there? Because B team are dicks. <laughs> yeah. I'm not demanding it. I'm just saying it would be a good bit. Just this for one time. Just. <laughs> Tee hee. <laughs> like, see, now I'm completely. Uh, I'm. I. I have no idea where I am in relation to anything. Have I been in here? Yes. I've been Cures. here. Yes. You've been there. That's the guy who's up against the bars earlier on. That's towards the beginning. Uh, oh, now I'm now I'm here. That's over towards the Pharos lock stone. Over here have been? C. 
secret frozen chest. I don't know what's wild. Except girls gone wild. What Where the hell? Where did you come from? Did you just... I was waiting so long for the perfect opportunity. How did I screw that up? <laughs> whoa, whoa, what? Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. Suddenly things are happening all at once. Have I never been in this ah! area? Ah, oh, oh my, my god. god. Eh, flask, <laughs> flask. Oop, looks like you didn't have enough poise, sir. <laughs> yeah, taunt him now. Okay, yeah, there's a secret area down there behind that stuff. But I don't... It's just, like, a treasure. Okay. I haven't been here? Which is a good sign. Click. What evils lie within? Doggos. doggos. Lots of doggos. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, FromSoft did the whole uh, Kingsfield series. Kingsfield? Yeah, on the like PS1, PS2. Oh. They were like, if I recall, they were like weird first person games, but they were. Whoa, hi. You, you know, from? difficult like Dark Souls. <laughs> because, you know, that's what they do. Yeah. Uh, I've been listening to a track from one of the Kingsfield games that I really love. Uh, from Kingsfield 4, I think it was. It's called Dark Reality. The song's called Dark Reality. Interesting. And it's a very atmospheric. Oh! <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> How do I get back there? I want. I pray for death. I don't. I legit don't remember how to get back there. <laughs> no. Do I have to go down here? It's not here, so I must have to go down here. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, not 12 minutes left. I've got 12 minutes to three hours, and then I'll have another hour. But, fuck. I might just have to, like, if I'm not even, which way did I go? This, I, this way. Like, if I get to that hour mark, I might just have to go, oh, I have to go climb all the ladders. Climb every ladder! Um, fuck. Uh, Panda, I'm going to ask you to kill me now. Panda, please kill me. <laughs> <laughs> mm. No, no, I don't think it will. And up another ladder. <sighs> and then you go running all the way back there and then fall down the stairs. I, because I forget which one it, I. Okay, this way. Or alternately. I get lazy and stop paying attention and throw myself down a hole this way, right? Um, I'm so lost right now. This way? Masochist asks, hit me, please. Say to say, no. <laughs> Wait. Because there's that lady. Was it over That's there? That's the lady who came at you. So is it over here? Yes. Yes, okay. So this is where... That's the lift with the secret, so... And I went up there, and that was just doggo room. And this was the stairs? Yes. Yes, okay. So, dead end. Got it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> There's that over there, but that takes down to the, the frigid outskirts. outskirts entrance. Now... There is an area up there, but I don't know, I which I can jump to, but you're not supposed to be able to jump to it. Are you sure you can't jump that? Like, I can. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to... Like, there's that plank kind of sticking out. I wonder if... 
Like I can barely make it with the cheaty jump. I don't, think I don't even care about this chest. Up. But I oh okay. wait wait wait. There's a ladder that huh. goes down here. It's literally right oh. there. Okay, I don't feel bad then. Okay. Um. <laughs> Ferrets over here being like, beware, beware, bitch, ain't nothing happening. <laughs> um. All right, there was another ladder. Uh, there's these stairs. Right. These stairs, I go down. I go down here. Okay, we're here, because if you look down there, it's like one of the earlier areas. Right. If I go back over here, there's another ladder that goes up. Oh, bodies are just... I've been wandering around so long that the bot corpses are just disappearing now. <laughs> it's starting to unload assets. Like, fuck. Oh, what? They're like, fucking, he doesn't care anymore. What comic was it that had the... That, like, beware bit. Oh, was that Pogo? Um, beware. Suspicious. Suspicious. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. Now I'm here. Is there a door you missed here somewhere? Well, there's a, there's a path around here that I didn't go because I didn't think there was anybody at the end of the path, but I don't know now. I just don't know now. All I want to do is cry. All I want to do is die. <laughs> Cause somebody told me there was a path that you didn't go when you passed by it. And this is a dead end. You'll, you must start over. <laughs> Best just die. You're rushing, you're rushing around. Do -do 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 <laughs> I hate this! <laughs> Weirdest killer's cover ever. <laughs> Go. That's where you came from. Is there anything over <laughs> here? Blech. <laughs> okay, that's where that is. This is chest room. Where you got mimicked. My hand hurts from clawing. This is up here. <laughs> like... Like, is there a ledge you can drop down to that we haven't seen? I don't know. Look for spaces and walls where it's like there's a hole taken out the side. Have you actually missed Panda's run? Um, which one? Round three? I'm I'm working on getting these VODs uploaded to YouTube, I promise. It's... Oh, here I am. Well, it's not like looking anywhere else is going to be any more fruitful. It's you true. Alright, we're here. Like, should I go back to the beginning? Any holes in the wall? I don't see like anything. Like in the little... What do you call low walls like that? I feel like they have a specific name. I don't know either. Uh, tripping hazards. <laughs> Ineffective. <laughs> Come on, man! You're gonna get me killed! I don't know why it keeps slipping. Because you're like... You're like... My legs hurt. <laughs> well, then just put it on the ground! You don't need to hold it the whole damn time. Yes, I do. Whoa. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> see up there do a run jump see if you can see like the way to go <laughs> I nothing you can't see anything like, that's where I need to go. I am, I am all certain that that is where I need to go. There's, okay, there's that over there. How do I get there? Uh, go around this loop here. Secret walls. I wish there was an item that just made it so you Have could you see secret walls. Have you tried mashing A on walls? No. This is some doom shit. 
<laughs> hump them walls. It's over here. Wait, this isn't it, is it? No, stairs up. You've been here. But look around, you never know when there's gonna be like a thing. It's a hole in the wall you missed or some shit. There's a ledge up there? What? With stuff? What the hell? Secret wall? Secret wall? What the fuck? <laughs> Secret wall! Nope. Secret wall! <laughs> this is so stupid. The one se the secret wall is actually behind this gun. You can kill him? You can just kill these guys? Oh. Wait, so you can get that chest down there too, but... I 100% bet you do it and it's like a life gem. There's a guy down there. Okay, so... Would you be able to jump over that in regular game? I don't know. Is there another way to get down there from here that I'm not seeing? Illusory floor. <laughs> um, in the next... in this next room? Maybe in the room back there where you found the this, night guy? This is where I came from. Stairs, hole with ladder, secret wall, anything. Now I'm just going up. Now I'm just here. Um, this is really frustrating. Because it's like, it's right there. And I could just actually jump over there, I think. But surely that's not how you're meant to get there. But how are you meant to get there? Mm. <laughs> we. Well, those guys are still kicking around with us. Oh, you can just straight up kill them. <laughs> I wonder. Oh, oh, oh! Because you're powering them up with the other ones. Oh, right, souls. right. That makes sense. No, it fucking doesn't, because they need a soul to power up to begin with. So you killed the first one. Oh yeah, where did they get their souls from? Man Mimic. <laughs> We're choosing to fight minus one man. What was Curved that? Curved great sword of some sort. <laughs> what am I missing? I don't understand. Like, it's right there. Yes, thank you, Ferret. We are aware that we are missing the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Got one of these for you. Oh, my camera has been, like, off kilter this whole time. Itchy head. Oop, they're disappearing. Wow. Well. We have lost all our, almost all our friends. Just this one remains. Please don't leave. <laughs> like, I, there's that area up there, over there. That comes from over there. There's just all this random shit and no paths to get there. Now we're up here. And this is just the beginning. I don't understand. Like, I I feel like I'm walking right past it over and over and over again, and I'm just not seeing it. 
or maybe it's like, oh, he's disappearing too. Uh, like, or it's like a secret wall or something. And this is just, just here. This is so stupid. I uh, Okay, uh Hmm. Wee! <laughs> Dude, he's pulling a Markiplier from Unisonis. Except he's not in the cardboard coffin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a great moment. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> now I can't even find the place where there was the bridge that I jump that I could conceivably jump over <laughs> if I wanted to be cheaty. Uh -huh. Like I'm at a point where I'm just like, I will trade you. I will trade you a one cheaty. So on your next run, you can do a cheaty. Okay, that's it down there that's where I want to go how don't forget the wall hump secret walls aren't so secret what I mean, there were some, there are some walls that you could see. You're like, oh, there's like, this very clearly looks like a door. All right. I can either look this up or I can just do the jump. So I am going to look it up. Uh, what are these things called? Um... Old Chaos Knights? Well, they aren't the Chaos Knights. The Chaos Knights are the ones you fight. They're- well, the ones you fight are the Charred Lois Knights. These guys are... Uh, Knights of Alam Lois. All right. This page does not yet exist. Bullshit. Uh, Crown of the Ivory King. Um. Dum 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 dum. Frozen William Lois. Oh, this is gonna take forever! Going downwards, frozen found area. Needs improving, that's good. Uh, ba bum bum ba bum bum bum. Okay, so you found the one where the. in the air. you found the one this area. Right. You found the one beyond. Uh, past the witch NPC so according to what I'm reading here you need to find one after a white covetous demon what okay from the outer wall bonfire go to the frozen fountain area go straight ahead from the fountain through the archway and down the small set of stairs ahead all right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bone there because that bone away. That's like right at the beginning. Wait, no, I don't need to do that. I'm literally right at the beginning. I don't need to respawn, dudes. 
Okay. I don't need to respawn dudes unnecessarily. Yes, I am looking up a walkthrough. This is my cheaty. Panda may also look up walkthrough if he desires. It was this or jump down there. Isn't that the tiger demon fight? No. That's in that's in the frozen outskirts. Which is completely the dual optional. Yeah, the, and that's a dual tiger demon fight. Or were you talking about that one that I just... Alright, this is the outer wall bonfire, yes? Alright. Go to the frozen fountain area. The what? Is that the oh, wait, wait, wait. kind of that... lower area where all those ladies and ice shooting assholes were? I think so. Where it kind of looks like if it wasn't buried in snow, it would be like just a normal neighborhood. Uh, that's down here, I think. Yeah, this seems like in the correct direction. UK fountain area. I just need to get pointed in the right direction. Uh, oh, there goes that corpse. Oh. Uh, straight ahead from the fountain through the archway down the small set of stairs. Small set of stairs. Small set of stairs. Small. Small set of stairs. This looks like a small set of stairs. Um. You'll need to cross the bridge by going all the way down to the ground and coming up on the other side. Oh, there's a lift back there. Or... <laughs> <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> you will perish. You don't know that. Alright, I feel like I haven't been in this area, so I'll stop referring to that until I get completely lost again. If I do. Yeah, I hope there's a bonfire down here, mother. No! Oh. Hedgehogs! The Sonic. Ow! Oh, they, they hurt. Ow! Oh, they hurt. Fucking magic damage. Is that what they're doing? Well, they're doing. Those like are hedgehogs? They look, like, they look like rabbits with spikes. What is a hedgehog? Put a miserable pile of. Of gotta go fast. Okay, alright, this is new. If this doesn't take me to that one area though. What the fuck? Oh. Well, chill out somewhere for a bit. Oh, hey. Don't get caught unawares by hedgehogs. You know, just chill out somewhere where you can fight him without getting ambushed. Like, for instance, by this fucking tree lady. Is that what she is? Okay. See, that's what you get for trying to use miracles. It never works in a Souls game. Hedgehog! Ow. Anything good here? Does not open from this side. Why did you not add a grocer? He ran right past you. Ow! Christ. Rolling enemies, man. Those were one of the worst ones in Dark Souls 3 was the big... Open. What? Gemless crystal lizards. I'm all snowy. <laughs> you look like you're... Deliciously frosted. I didn't mean to do that, but it turned out to be pretty freaking epic. <laughs> Those jump attacks, man. <laughs> Whoa, up there. They're a little extra something when you can yeet high. Alright, I don't care about chests right now. Eh, I just want to get out of here. Alright, sneakies. I knew it. Oh! He's not cool. <laughs> Kill him. Why are you... Stop acting cool. He's... 
this is this is that guy. <laughs> what a douchebag. He runs all over the place. Did he just fuck off? <laughs> Do not trust! But I want to trust. God, that health pool, though. Watch out. Aha! Dude, that health pool! Get fucked! Okay. <laughs> um. Alright. This feels... Spooky and incorrect. This feels bossy. I know we did see something about a covetous demon and this looks like a place where you would fight a covetous demon. But I wish there was a summon somewhere. Oh, you have to drop oh. down. <laughs> or a nearby bonfire, Christ. I mean, there might have been. I didn't really explore a whole lot. Um, what do you think a covetous demon wouldn't like? Fire? Fire, maybe? Fleshy things tend to not like fire very much. I don't have fire, though. Um, no, I could use a bright bug. Of course, this is assuming that this is a boss fight, but... Oh, I'm just gonna... Go in prepped. Oh, oh there, yep, he there he is. is. It's not even a boss. Womp, womp, womp. Oh, this isn't that bad. Yeah. I was all worried for nothing. Cobalt says he's weak to fierce. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Ivory Warrior Ring, what does that do? Uh, attacks greatly reduce enemy stamina. Mm. Mm. That be better. Ooh, would that be better than the Chlorinthy ring? I suppose I could ditch the Covetous Silver Serpent ring. I don't really need souls at this point. Uh, it's, it's so heavy though. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna not do that for now. Maybe the next time I level up, I'll. Jack my endurance so I can put on better ring. Large plus eight large club. An eight pound ring, yeah. Fuck this game and it's. <laughs> I think I heard someone refer to them as Miyazaki units. <laughs> ah! Ow. Mini rollies? The tiny rollies, they're way more dangerous than a covetous demon. <laughs> Yeah, they could have killed him and eaten him. Why didn't they? That's honestly something, like, with the easy mode that I've noticed, is that the little guys are way more dangerous than the bosses. Um... Good adventures go left. Door. Just presuming, presumably shortcut? Yep, shortcut. Yep, we're here again. Okay. Well, this area looks fun. Kill the ones that aren't living first! Hey, that hedgehog doesn't have spines. I think they pop spines when you get close. Shark for that one. <laughs> Die in slow motion. Whoa! <laughs> they look. It's so the, weird. The animation is kind of fun looking. Like if you had an entire game with animation like that, it would be like this it, stop motiony looking thing. Yeah, everything's either clay or papercraft looking. Oh, he's awake. Yeah, he was moving. Is he poisonable? I mean, he's made of rock. Uh 
<laughs> that that's some stomp. Yeah. Mm. Whoop. <laughs> Whoa, why is the why is McSpikey here coming? They really do look like not 3D when they look like Doom Sprite. Ow, ow, ow. When they're coming at you in that low FPS. It kinda, yeah. Ouch. Get poke. Okay. Alright, they don't seem poisonable, so I'll just use my iron arrows. You're talking about percentage damage reduction, many small hits is greater than two big hits. Uh huh. That's what Cobalt said. I don't understand what he's talking about. I think we're at a. I think we're at a point in this endeavor where we have very short-term memory loss. <laughs> oh, I see what he's saying. Like, if I have high damage reduction, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, for like when the little guys are attacking you. Like they'll big, hit- The they'll big guys tend to go BOOM with one big attack, whereas little guys tend to be like buzz saws of death. Yeah. Got them both, let's go. But then the soul go- the hedgehog soul goes into it as it's dying and resurrects it. Okay. I think... This is where I want to be. Soon. <sighs> so here's the question. If I do this, like if I get the night dude. Wait, well, we're just on the other side of the bridge now. Right, but this is where it said I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Ow! Don't get smooshed. I can't help it. Just go down the elevator. <laughs> yeah, just get out of there. Okay, okay, we're okay. We're okay. All is well. All right. Now it said, aha. I need oh, to get on the other wait. side of the bridge because there's stuff over here. I like that they jingle, jangle, jingle. <laughs> and before start of DLC. <laughs> like, we did it! We made it all the way through! <laughs> and it's just... The beginning. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, many hedges of hog. They seem to have a hard time with, uh... Uh, ledges. ledges, yes. They also seem to make horse cloppy sounds. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, he's going for small hand technique. Uh, thanks for missing, sir. Ooh, big hand technique. Ow. I was still in range, I did not realize. And I heard somebody over here. Yeah, I saw. It's a hedgehog. Well, I thought I saw a guy go running. Mm, there he is. Yeah, oh, oh god! Oh no, oh no, oh no. No, please don't, please don't throw me. Just hurt me all you want. Don't throw me! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, oh my Jesus god! Jesus Christ! Uh, life gem, life gem, life gem, more life gems. Uh, Estes. <laughs> and... Oh no! <laughs> Where does beer go? I don't know. Why did this <laughs> panics? All the panic. It's because I was pressing down on the D-pad over and over, and I must have hit right because every D-pad sucks all the time forever. How many of you had clenched sphincters? <laughs> I had three or four clenched sphincters. <laughs> I had enough clenched sphincters for all of us. Hey, look. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Emergency fisting! 
<laughs> that emergency fisting is the only thing that saved me. <laughs> I wish we could have seen your health value. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure you had one HP. It was, it was bad. <laughs> all right, I got all of them. That's... All three of them, thank you God. You have a lot of souls, too, so you could beat yeah. yourself up a bunch before the fight. And I think I know what I'm going to put that into. I think I'm going to jack my endurance. Your endurance or your vitality? Vitality. Whatever it is that armors. So that I can put on that kick-ass ring. Uh, oh. I thought I got, like, another cool soul, but apparently not. Cool 400. <laughs> Woo! Alright, um... Stand the fuck up! I've been through enough shit already! I've got shit to do. Alright, um... So I could get five levels into that... Might be enough to... Oh, and I need to top up my Radiant Life Gems. I've been using them like crazy. It happened! I broke it! Let's go, Infinite Radiant Life Gems! <laughs> <laughs> this, seems, this seems incredibly cheesy. Okay, it can only carry 99, not that it makes a difference. <laughs> Alright. Thanks. Um... Alright, so can I equip that ring now without going into... fat roll ter- or medium roll territory? Seems like it. And we'll go with it. Reducing stamina, good. Um, well, that's everything. Okay. That's fat. No, it's it's not. It's not medium roll. That's what I don't want to get into. Or it, it's rolly enough. No, I mean, All right, man. summon f additional friends. So here's the thing: if I su if I don't summon friends, um, all right, if I don't summon friends, then I can use a bright bug, and I will be going in with the four knights anyway. Where, but if I do summon friends, I have friends. Friends would help reduce the number. Of would probably help reduce dude-ness. They will also make... They will also make the, uh... boss harder. Also, chat, I do apologize. I, I'm having... I'm having trouble keeping up with you more than usual with Dark Souls. I mean, what's the worst that'll happen is you just die. Okay. Alright. And I got gold pine resin for days. Wee. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, you could see old Twiggy. If you could show up. No. Whoa, not me, not me! Ow. Ow, ow, fuck! Why am I doing that? Stop! You did it again! Drink the fucking flask! Get him in a hoodie ring. Someone set us up the bomb. <laughs> I can't tell who I'm supposed to be attacking. Alright, why don't you assholes get in that there? Okay. Thank you. 
Whoa, Jesus! That one right there. No! I run out of stamina at the worst possible time. Lucatil, she stopped tanking fire to the face. I see three knights over here when there could be one less knight. <laughs> Ow! Fuck! There he goes! Yay! Are these guys... Ow! Are these guys backstabbable? No, but... Oop, I ran out of... Oh, that was the wrong but thing. I used an Estus flask and I didn't mean to. Whoa! Alright, get over there. Somebody guys, there's a there's a there's a portal here. Okay, he's coming. Get over here and seal, seal the portal, you dumbs. Seal the fucking portal! Come on! There's two of ya! <laughs> There's three of you. Get over here and see. Oh no, there's only two. Oh no, I lost one. No, one of them, two of them have already sealed portals. Oh, they become the ice. Yeah. So after this one is sealed, you'll have one dude left. Okay. Well, if one of y'all could seal it, please. Seal it. Eh. Eh. For God's sake, please. There he goes. Is he doing it? Yep. Okay. Alright, heal up. Alright. Hopefully they'll survive long enough for me to get a good heal. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna pine Lightning. up again. Oh. <laughs> Now, it would be wonderfully hilarious if he just, like, dodged himself right off the edge. Speaking of which, you are rather close. You know Maybe what? Maybe don't do this fight over here. Because I guarantee you, you will get knocked off and he will not. Well... There goes your knight. No! Yep, there goes Lucatiel. Uh, this is a disaster. Well, you know what? At least right now it's just... Ow, okay. Twiggy, Twiggy, if you could... Okay. My stu... Like, we have to do this over here because Twiggy isn't gonna move. Oop, get away. Like, he's gonna keep getting... He's gonna keep getting aggroed over here. Whoop. That's the that's the ticket. Ow! Did I get in my lightning? Yes. Okay. No! 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 I don't know how that works. Ah! Oh, fuck's sake! No, Twiggy! Poke! Ow! 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 Pop. Twiggy, what are you doing? Getting his ass knocked off <sighs> like an idiot. Well, it's just me, just you and me now. Eh. Okay. 
Okay. Why can't I backstab the king? He's humanoid. Ow. Sometimes I just don't take damage, which, you know, that's cool with me. You know, you used to be cool, dude. Get out of there. Ow. Back away. Pop a gem. I'm close. I'm close. Eh. Just get in the pokes. Eh. Ow. Just a few more, just a few more. <laughs> Please. Victory is within my grasp. Ouch. Flask. Yes. I've never seen so many friends just thrown off the edges. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, you go activate the thing. Yep. Because you gotta grab your crown. Three hours, and 30 minutes on the mark. Alright, I got 30 minutes to do the last boss. Which I think is doable. That fight gave me indigestion. <laughs> uh, bonfire. I forget if she gives me anything, but I'm gonna talk with her anyway. Oh, fuck, she didn't give me nothing. Hmm. Victory nut. Nut. <sighs> All right. Just so get soul, get levels. Uh, I'm gonna take HP this. HP would be good, although you could get more endurance. And Firstly, more I'm gonna get rid of that in favor of <laughs> the ring that explodes after it's taken a certain amount of damage. Uh, uh, curse resistance would be great. Holy shit! That increase petrification... Like crazy! <laughs> but this is, yeah... 200 bonus to all my resistances, that will be very helpful. And the stamina drop I don't think is gonna help particularly against the Chandra. Hey, form of squirrel! Hey, squirrel! Uh, the DS2 run is now going well after I got past the madness. <laughs> so, all I have to do is beat Nashandra now, right? Hopefully. And I think I've got all the stuff I need. No. I need the key to the throne of one. Where do I get that? You don't need that. Don't I? Don't you have the giant's kinship? Is that what that is? I'm pretty sure. Alright, so I don't need any more endurance. Um, Pop that big soul. And. Whoop. Bearer of. Until. Level up. Uh. Buh, 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 buh. More endurance means more stabs. <laughs> this goes up four points. What is my best curse res? If I crank attunement, I get one point of curse res. If I crank adaptation, I get three points of curse res. Three points <coughs> is three points. Where is the love? It's there. 
I didn't happen to find any. Sad. Or, uh... I'll just bonfire aesthetic to the, this place to crazy, and then go fight. That's the that's the run validation plus new game plus seven pigs. <laughs> to the Womp Throne. I forget how do I get there. Uh, should be Drang Lake Castle. Here, right? No. Wasn't there? A no, it's the other one. There's a. Wasn't there a bonfire at the nope. throne? It sure isn't. It's this one. And then I go down into the big door. And then go down the big hike. Been grinding Elden Ring to get all the achievements. Alright. It's not there. It's down here. Miss Shander, excuse me, did you... Ascetic 12 times? Oh. My secretary. <laughs> uh, oh. Once you open it, it just open? Mm, produce the That's symbol it. once. Like, you've proven yourself. Just let me in. I don't know what she's weak to in terms of applied goop. Uh, also, one of the things that you can do with this lighting engine. Uh, you can customize, uh, right now the amount of light that I'm emitting is two times normal, but you can crank that to as much as you want. You can make it like a hundred times normal <laughs> and just be a god, god of the sun. <laughs> Ferret says, like all other bosses, they are weak to death. Yeah, you're just applying, you know, every stab that reduces their health applies more and more stacking death debuff <laughs> and you do have a friend I thought I had two friends I think it's just one Ben Hart I swear there's a way to get another friend here wait there is there is another there is a way to get another friend here hold on but I need to make you go away Yep. Shoo. I'll get you I'll get you again later. It's not far away either. You get in there and you're just like <laughs> Solar Flare! <laughs> oh bitch! <laughs> Gotta do these buffers. Get out. I need to want to get rid of these dudes so that my so that my summon doesn't get distracted. Oh, it's Ray. Yeah, good old bashful Ray. He's been with us since the beginning. No. Mr. Ray, please just come straight towards me. Don't get distracted. Don't attack anybody. Just straight over here. Please. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Monastery charm. All right, and we wait for the long ass door to open. Do 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 do. There's an opportunity to drink. Say no more, Paul's out flask. <laughs> I've been my the only issue that I've had with watching the ESA speedruns is how common the uh, like stay hydrated thing is. Here's my thing about the stay hydrated deal. There is nothing wrong with drinking water. Water is good for you. Drink water, sure. What bugs me about the whole stay hydrated thing where everybody's like, no, stay hydrated, you gotta drink lots of water. Why? 
do you know why? Do you know why you're saying stay hydrated? Do you know what water does for your body? Do you know why you need to drink so much water? Because you don't. What exactly is it that you're doing while you're sitting on your ass playing video games that's making you need to drink water? Yeah, you can absolutely overhydrate. You can overhydrate. Water that's not poisoning is real. That's not really that big of a concern unless you're drinking like gallons upon gallons of water. But some um it's it's not the it's not the drinking of water that bugs me. It's the fact that that whole movement, which is really what it is, is based on a lot of misinformation and not understanding uh, why you drink water. And the problem with that is that that is very easily exploitable. If people think that they have to do something, but they don't know why, that's a good way. That's, that's how you get people stepping in and selling you like water plus like this, you know what I mean? Like that, the stupid, like alkaline water or whatever. Okay. It's Nishandra time. All right, now she's gonna do the stupid thing where she summons like little pylons that cause curse buildup. Oop, there they are. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, now if my dudes can please aggro her. I can get rid of the pylons. Well, now she's in prime st stabbing. Oh yeah, they're, I'm nowhere near pylons. Eh, eh. I don't know if she's weak to anything. <laughs> I feel like she'd be weak to fire, considering that she's made out of old bones. Well, I mean, we can find also, out. Also, you took damage somehow? Um, I've got charcoal pine resin here somewhere. Nope, that's dark pine resin. We can find out if she weak to fire. Just keep an oh, eye on my health. Level. Well, I mean, every every resin adds some damage to your. Whoa! Oh, no. that's that's Ray. Okay. I was like, nope, she's casting fire magic. Oh fuck! Oh, is she? No, she's not. She's summoning pylons. Just gotta keep my curse low. Because the pylons will decimate my dudes. Whoa. You took some more damage. Uh, you just take damage from being around these things. Cool, so they curse you and they slowly just drain your health. Yep. Oh god, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Alright, need to get in there and do damage. <laughs> You're the only one who really can. Oh, fuck. Get out of there. Okay. I thought she was summoning more pylons. Well, you need to get out of there anyway. <laughs> Out of fire resin. Oh, there's a raid! There's a raid! Who's raiding? I can't deal with raid right Arambe. now. Harambe! Thank you for the raid! Aye! I can't. <laughs> Welcome! Oh, fuck. Well, you just got one level of curse. One level of curse is fine. Yeah, just finish her ass off. Dead. There we go. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Around <laughs> people and raiding with a party of four. Thanks for the raid. Yes, yeah, thank you for the raid. Welcome. Did you enjoy your blunts? I hope so. And time. I'm done. Yay. So. Finished in four rounds.
Woof. I think the other ending... I think I can just leave, can't I? No, I don't think it's like in Dark Souls 1. I think to get the second ending, where you abandon the throne, you have to do all the... You have to 100%. So you have to get all the uh, beat all the you DLCs. You link the fire. You who bear the curse. You have to beat all the DLCs, the get all the crowns, fight fe- fight Schmendrick, get the final crown, and then after Nishandra, Aldia appears and you have to fight him. To embrace. Also, like you go in here and you're like, you are the new monarch, sealed in. Except you're not, because if I I'm gonna if I load back in, I'll be back at the <laughs> bonfire with Nashandra's soul. So it's like you're not really sealed in. You are the monarch. Good old Schmendrick. So I got 15 minutes left. Technically, I'm I'm victory. Great sovereign. Yeah, yeah. Take my throne. All right. Well, we're going to spend the next 15 minutes watching credits. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I got there in the end. Yeah, Victory I don't think I mine. I don't think I'm cashing up cuz I still have to beat the throne guardians. Do the stuff and all these keep in the airy. The fuck? The credits are going to be weird for some reason. I don't know why. And then I still have to do all the sunken city DLC. Boop. Like, even with your huge, even with dying to, you know, in your first attempts, even with dying to your, like, first couple of attempts to do, you know, to do one dude, the first, the Burnt Ivory King, and then having to do that whole spiel where you got super lost. That is true, though. You don't have to do what I did and spend like two hours no, wandering I, around frozen a lamb. I also have no I also am not famili- super familiar with any of the DLCs. So oh, oh, oh god, uh seizure warning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't think that's the sort of thing that triggers seizures. It's triggering my seizures right now. Seizures? Seizures. My seizures are just Augustus. Yeah, three hours. It, it, it was three proper hours that I spent wandering around in Frozen Land. So, like, you do, you do have that. And you do also have a, you do also have a looky uppy available to you since I had to look shit up. Um, like, I think you still have a chance to tie me. It just depends on if you get caught on anything. If you don't, if you don't get caught in anything and you're just able to go through and get the stuff done, you will probably be able to catch up. See, that's the thing that's worrying me the most is that sunk, the sunken city is incredibly perilous from a gravity perspective. <laughs> you at least had... Shin high walls. I got nothing. <laughs> and a lot of the enemies are very like sure you can <laughs> But more importantly, it's also very flat for me. And I don't have small yeets. I only have big yeets. I mean, for right, I mean you are you you have said that you're committed to Sunken City, but there's no reason for you to stick to that commitment. There is, because otherwise I'm fighting... I don't want to do Frozen Ilum Lois, because I hate it. And I don't want to fight the Fume Knight <laughs> in Old Iron King. I feel like the bosses are probably your least... Like, if the bosses are what... If the boss slash bosses are what you're nervous about, that's the least of... That's the least of your worries. I really do feel like when it comes to the DLC, the environment is your big like the reason I got stuck on Frozen Lamb so hard was because it's this massive maze like area um so no but 
for real, the Fume Knight is considered one of the probably the. I don't know if he's the hardest, but he's a close, close to hardest, right up there with Surawan. In fact, I think he might be harder than Surawan. But anyway, to finish up my earlier rant, um, you have a built-in mechanism. <laughs> Gerard Noon. <laughs> Two main things. You have a built-in mechanism to tell you when you need to drink liquids. And that is when you feel thirsty. <laughs> your body will tell you. Your body tells you exactly what you need when you need it. Have you ever gotten a craving for like a salty munchie? That's your body telling you, I need sodium. Um, if So when you get thirsty, that's your body saying, I need liquids, put liquids in me. If you're thirsty, drink liquids. And two... I don't know where my can went. Well, I have a can. Can. Here's a can. You know what the first ingredient in this is? The sugary ass energy drink? Water. This, this... This will, in fact, save a person who's dying of thirst. Yeah. It's... Is it healthy? No. Like, it's loaded with sugar and random crap, but it is liquids. Soda, tea, coffee, all those things... Arguably, tea is probably better to drink than water because it's got a whole bunch of, like... Antioxidants and shit. Yeah. Um, you know, and then there, there's the, like, oh, it's a diuretic, it makes you pee. You know what else makes you pee? Water. water. <laughs> <laughs> like, the the idea that, like, soda and all the, and coffee and tea and them dehydrate you, that is a myth. Like, just liquids are fine. Now, if you want to say don't drink soda because it's unhealthy, sure. Yes. <laughs> yeah, by all means. But, like, tea is fine. Coffee is fine. Both okay. tea and coffee have additional benefits. So, like, this whole, like, you know, stay hydrated and drink, you know, just drink water, it's based on a huge amount of misinformation. And when you have, uh, when you have beliefs that are based on misinformation and lack of knowledge, those can be those beliefs can be used against you especially by you know like companies like for example like like Gatorade on the Gatorade on the less malicious side cuz Gatorade's fine like yeah although the new uh, Gator Light is a little um <laughs> do you want kidney stones cuz unless you're an athlete that's how you get kidney stones <laughs> Believe me. Also, it's hard it's hard to validate Cobalt in the middle of an arc rant. <laughs> Anyways, uh horny butt bonk. <laughs> <laughs> um So yeah, just like when you get thirsty, but oh, but like yeah, so like on the on the less uh on the less gross side of the spectrum are people like Gatorade, because technically like if you're an athlete, Gatorade does have good shit for you. But like on the on the gross side is stuff like alkaline water and power water and all that sort of stuff that are literally just expensive pointless trash that like just you, you just tap water is fine um so like yeah i don't water. <laughs> i've got i i i've got no problem with people saying drink water what I have a problem with is the people saying, "Drink water, like, me stupid motherfucker!" All the time, only water. Like you got, or drink you're a water. bad person. <laughs> you know, this dude's sitting in front of his computer for four hours saying, "You got to stay hydrated," and it's like, technically yes, but you not so much. You are fine. <laughs> like, is it unless it's like a hundred and five degrees in there and you are sweating buckets and you just need you like water. It's not that you don't just drink when you're thirsty. Um, open SSL. Oh, I guess they need open SSL for like their they need SSL for like their online stuff. 105 degrees, 99 percent humidity is what we call actual hell. <laughs> it's what we call congratulations. You're in a pot steamer and you are in fact a dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> you have you have become snack. I hope you're filled with pork, otherwise you will be disappointing. 
<laughs> yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Like dry, I will take, I will take ninety, ninety-five degrees in dry air before I'll take seventy degrees hu- in humid air. Harbor of Auros. And there you are. <laughs> I'm king now. Everything's Can fine. Can I get a cookie? I Am- want it. Emerald Harold's like, no, perish. <laughs> I would like a, I would like a kingly cookie. And now to do the most important thing in Dark Souls. First of all, uh, do I have any? Uh, do I have any? Nice- have a nice skirt. Oh, there you go. Oh, because she's wearing the priestess thing. So here you go, priestess skirt. There you go. Hi. All right. Always, yeah. So, the most important thing, which is give her pants. Well, the second most important thing. So, I'll rest at the bonfire. Well, the subtropic part of Texas, 100 <laughs> degrees, 99% humidity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, there we go. Now, she is she is well clothed. There you go. Where'd her top go? Uh, she. I gave her the sorceress top, remember? Oh, yeah. And now, the most important thing... Fuck this guy. All right. You made him happy. Yeah, see, he has peace now. And I, I get the ring, ring of steel protection. protection. That I could have had this whole damn time. Maybe yeah. I'll go up there and kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I've been like, I want to be nice. You know, there's no reason to kill him. Now I'm like, oh, he has stuff. Maybe I will murder the fuck out of him. <laughs> Why? Kill all. Kill all. I literally have no idea what the result. I'm going on a murdering spree. Oh, her hair. <laughs> well, this is the. I'm the mo- I'm the king. This is. Have you not played? Have you not played a Dark Souls game? Kings go berserk. Yeah, but you usually wait like at least a decade. No, <laughs> immediate berserk. <laughs> No, she had a cover the silver serpent ring. Neat. Yeah, you already had one. And uh, let's go uh, back over here. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I promise to all my constituents that as monarch, I will not be a murderous dickbag <laughs> to everyone. Just the one guy. <laughs> Just the one guy. Also, this was a long way to do this. <laughs> That would be terrible if this somehow had an effect on my playthrough. Like, you kill the Emerald Herald, and now she's like, you don't get to level up anymore. But it's like, but I did nothing! <laughs> what the hell is happening? I forget if that's what happens when you kill her, if you just can't level up. Is that what happens? Can you just not level up anymore? After you've dealt half damage to her, you don't even have to kill her. Half damage, and she stops speaking to you at all. And so you can't level up anymore, or upgrade your Estus Flask. Neat. <laughs> well, here she comes with the most powerful weapon in the game. Is it? <laughs> Stop her. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I got bonked. Human effigy. What did you drop? A human effigy. <laughs> Wasn't there a third lady? Oh, here she is. I'm right here. Are you gonna leave me out? <laughs> Thank you. Jeez. Alrighty. They don't even give you fucking souls. Yeah. What the fuck. Is there any... Anyway. Now, I can't remember if the Emerald Herald is immortal. Like, if you're going to go back there and she's going to be there again, or if she's dead forever. Nope, she's she's gone. She be, she be gone. Wait, there are more dudes. Oh, hold on. There is one person that we that we need to kill because we, we all hate this stupid bitch. <laughs> Come here, you. Prepare to meet my spear. Eh. She's tough. Holy cow, she got she got some uh And she only casts miracles. But they are miracles that can fuck your face if you let her get them off. Oh, she's healing. Sucks to be her. Alrighty, and I got 
Ret oh, you kill her, you get the you get the thing. Yeah, so you that's why I was thinking there. about killing her, so I don't have to spend two thousand souls on a grift. But I was like, I don't feel like getting schooled by a woman in rags. Okay. Well, so that'll do for us tonight, I think. We have slain. Yeah, but he's not exactly Mr. Faith, is he? Begin journey to String Lake. Bring back all my friends. Anyway, so that'll do for us tonight. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with us. I have beaten the game in four rounds, so Panda has one more round to try to beat the game. Um, he does have a looky uppy that he can use, so he might want to do some research before he starts the next run. And, uh, then, after that, I'm not sure what we want to do. I might have to respec my trident. And I'm thinking about it. Give it a different ability? Yeah, because poison, poison is oh, not yeah, going you're... to be very useful in the area of poison and squalor. Bleed might work? Bleed? Yeah, the... <laughs> Turn it into a visceration. <laughs> <laughs> um... But yeah, I'm not sure what we want to do after after this uh, thing. So we'll give uh, it. There's here's a reason we might like to try Dark Souls One remastered again. There's a mod for it that turns it into a roguelike, a la Binding of Isaac. That would be weird. It is weird. I have seen it. You could get shit like, oh, hello, it's Sir Artorius. <laughs> one of the, you know, one of the late game DLC bosses in the tiniest arena. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, if I'm not here in harassment, I'm here and don't search for one guard for 15 hours. Um, I would like to do an Elden Ring co-op run. With the old seamless co-op, yeah. but I would also like to do, uh, you know, I'd like to. We do we do retro games, and it would be nice to do fuck retro games. Retro this is games. a from software channel. No, <laughs> I don't want to only do this. <laughs> I'm gonna get I'm gonna get us our own PS3 slash PS4 so we can play Bloodborne. We have a PS4. Right, but it's theirs. Well, if we can borrow theirs. And they don't have Bloodborne. If I... Yeah, that's true, but we could just go get Bloodborne. Um, like, just get a PSN account and download Bloodborne. Um, or... Bloodborne's PS4, right? Not PS3. I can, I can never remember which console I think it's it came, PS4. At, came out for. I don't know if PS4 emulation is any good yet. Um... Ferret so, says PS3. PS3? Was there like a was there like a better like if you got the PS4 version was it like enhanced? I don't. I seem to recall that the big complaint for Bloodborne was that it was 30 FPS. Hmm. Because a lot of the games like on the PS4 era and beyond had two settings. Where they had like performance and graphics, mm -hmm. so you could make it like look really nice, but 30 FPS, or you could make it 60 FPS, but doesn't look as good. Um, and for me, it's always performance. Please. Yeah, I'll take I'll take 60 FPS anyway. I have I have grown up with the lesser computer of all the time. Like if I remember when Oblivion was a thing, and I finally got started playing it. My computer was trash, so I was like, so when they had, when they came out with the old Oblivion port, mm -hmm. <laughs> which took Oblivion and made it look like absolute shit, like it didn't have like, uh, it didn't have like the, oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? It didn't have bump mapping or, or dynamic lighting per se. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which really helped it function well. So it was like Oblivion models and textures, but with like Morrowind rendering. Oof. And it was playable. And then later I was able to play it 
with bump mapping and dynamic lighting because my computer was just good enough that I could get good performance just by going into the console and typing TG, mm. which just turned off all the grass. <laughs> So um, I didn't have to sit there rendering all this wishy-wavy grass everywhere. Interestingly, uh, Elder Scrolls Online, if you poke around in the if you poke around in the uh, settings ini files, um, you can completely potato Elder Scrolls Online, and it ends up looking like a Nintendo 64 game. <laughs> And like so, it's like you can play you can play Elder Scrolls Online on like a twenty year old computer if you know how to if you know how to poke around in the I and I files. Uh, do we still play Oblivion? I poke at it every now and then. I can't get Oblivion to work to save my life. Like, now granted, I could probably just with like a couple of mods. You know, just to make sure that it's running and get the patch, like the unofficial patch and whatnot. Um, but it looks gross. Um, so, like, so then I'm like, okay, well, I just want to get a couple of bitch basic, like, lighting mods, HD texture packs, you know, nothing crazy. Just make it not look like it came out 40 years ago because Oblivion does did not age well at all. It when it came out, it looked a little wonky. Well, the, the thing is, I think Obli oh, Elder Scrolls Online, not Oblivion. Um, I do, I do every now and then. Cleo plays a lot of ESO, so uh, I'll also, pop on to play with her every now and then. Also, hello, Kentarius. Welcome to the end. Oh, hey, Kentar. Kinti, how you doing? Like, um, you see, that's what I'm finding. A lot of people really. Dark Souls 2 seems to be really polarizing. Like, a lot of people really, really like it, and a lot of people are like, ah, Dark Souls 2, it's weird. Like, anyway. Um, Oblivion is... I think... Like, I still think Oblivion is a gorgeous game. Like, you know, it's, it's low-poly, low-textured resolutions and stuff, yeah. And you can easily make it look even better with, like... You know, high resolution texture mods. Like just a high resolution texture mod will make it look better. But just the way they rendered the environments was just so colorful and wonderful to look at. The only thing to me that is really dated is the character yep. models. Because they <laughs> They look like somebody poured candle wax over a wooden mannequin. Because they decided that the best thing to do was instead of, you know, doing the smart thing like in Skyrim and actually modeling uh, some faces in a bunch of face options, they decided to use a third-party software to ge to automatically generate all their faces. <laughs> Which is the only way to get a good-looking face in that game without mods, or even with mods, is by gr getting that third-party software, making the face you want, and then forcefully importing it into your save file. Which is bullshit. Also, I have to go to the bathroom really bad. Well, okay. So, well, like, I'm just right, gonna right the heck now. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna end out the. Uh, I'm just gonna end out the stream since we're at the done. So, so I'll, I'll see you guys later. Eh. Catch me next can time. I, can I? Can I have this Panda's so I can? Pandas ball Z. Pandas ball Z. Oh no. <laughs> we don't want that. All right. So. Uh, that'll do for us tonight. We have, uh, I don't know if Panda's gonna want to, if he doesn't finish it next round, I don't know if he's gonna want to do another stream to finish it out, or if he's just gonna want to admit defeat if he can't beat it next round. I think he's probably gonna get farther than he thinks, um, so I think there's a good chance that he will tie out the race, but, uh, if he does want to do a last... If he doesn't want to do a last, if he doesn't want to do a round five, if he doesn't finish it in round four, um, he'll do that uh, on Saturday. On f so, or no, on Friday he'll be doing his round four. Saturday we'll be doing something new, and then, or maybe we'll just finish it out on Saturday if he wants to, and then next week we'll start something new. I don't know. We'll keep check out the schedule down in the doobly doo, and we'll keep you updated on what uh, on what we're moving over to. 
Um, so, and so, yeah, after, after this game, not sure what we'll do. Probably something retro-y. Um, maybe something from the Nintendo 64 could be fun. Um, hmm. I have heard that, uh, I have heard that Demon's Souls on PlayStation 3 emulates pretty well. But I don't know if we want to do more Souls. But, uh, in any case... Um, but yeah, we'll let, we'll let you know, we'll let you guys know in the Discord and in the, in the, uh, in the, um, hoobity boo in the schedule. And by the way, there is a link in our Discord, uh, to a, you could, there's a link to a calendar doomahickey that, uh, you can subscribe to in whatever calendar app you use, like iCal or Google Calendar or whatever, that will automatically update in your calendar with our stream schedule so whenever we post a stream that we're going to be doing or you see our stream schedule like whenever we update it it'll automatically go into your calendar app so you can see you can just pop in there and see when we're going to be doing a stream so uh yeah so look forward to look forward to whatever the hell it is we're doing again friday Pandas round four of Dark Souls 2. So that'll do for us tonight. Thank you so much for coming. As always, a huge thanks to our Twitch tier subscribers and donators. Your financial support helps us to pay a couple bills every month. It means the world to us, so thank you so much for that. And don't forget to check us out on YouTube and Discord. I got some links for you in the chat right now. Uh, pop over to our YouTube. We're getting our VODs posted up over there. We're looking into, uh, like, we're, we, we're, there's a lot of VODs to post, so getting them up there is a little bit tricky. We're working on some stuff to speed up that process. And, um... Yeah, so definitely head over there. Give us a subscribe so that you can catch the VODs if you miss them here. They will be going up in 4K, which is cool. And, uh pop into our discord we've got a wonderful community of people who would love to chat with you so drop by say hi and we'll see you guys next time on controller tape uh, see ya <laughs>